Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew Wednesday edition. <laughs> Hello everybody out there. Welcome to the show. This is the show where we play new games on classic consoles. And uh, we have four games today. Three of them are from this year and one of them is a couple years old. Um, they are Alien Attack. Okay. And its sequel, made in the same year. So I don't think any movies it's have had a sequel in the, in same, the same, year. same year. I bet there's oh, been one. There has to be one. Yeah, like but put still. out at the beginning of the year and then right at the end, they rushed it. Hi all, Arena Foot as well. Hey, Arena Foot made it. And I then, think it's uh, his day off. Oh, sick. And then Mr. Fix is here yep. as well. He Dan says, AVC. Says more zero page homebrew goodness. Yes, it is. And then Atari Spot is waving with an octopus arm. <laughs> That's quite the graphic. Which is great. Uh, Squid 2. Squid, Squid 3. Two. Squid... Oh, that's the name oh. of it. And Erlen is here. And oh. I'm here. Hey, James. You can see our names above us, which is very helpful. Um, uh, Alien Revenge. It's Alien Attack. Alien, alien Revenge. revenge. That, that that works. Hold it on. Does. Is it the revenge? Is it the aliens coming back? It depends how well you played the first game. I mean, if game. you lost, it's a different revenge. Yeah. If you win, it's a different revenge. That's right. So... You didn't They're get... attacking again anyway. Yeah, it's, it's or you're attacking revenge them. Of some kind. Somebody's revenge. Those are made by Edward Smith. Uh, Have we played anything else by Edward Smith, or is it just, is that the? N we did. Now you're putting me on the spot. I'm sorry. I always <laughs> do this every time. I was just like it. Oh man! Somebody else. Uh, Arena Foot can help us Arena out here. Foot. He's the keeper Save us, of the Arena tome Foot. of uh, the tome. video games. No, Indeed. I know EA Smith has done another game and the name is and it's very possible i wasn't on stream when that happened too quite so possible it's always as well. you never know um we're gonna play the final version of monkey king it's Dude. all done it's all done with coconuts falling coconuts and everything fall and a new power-up so oh. he's added a power-up so this is um oh you're very welcome yeah, mr man, fix you're is, super welcome. is it your birthday today is are you Sad. Uh, I well, we're some, here to cheer you up. I anyway. heard some references to Zippy. Zippy, yes, that's the okay. last game. Zippy the Porcupine. Zippy the Porcupine. Everyone on stream like, is like <laughs> looking really forward excited. to Zippy, one of the handful of homebrews I have on cart. Don't know anything yeah, about the it, others. It made a big uh, impact when it came out. Um, oh, yeah, you're playing cart games. Dude, yeah. this looks suspiciously like <laughs> something else. else. <laughs> mm. Do you think there's a, any connection? He, he's, to another game, possibly with the rings and yeah, you know, and like the, the hair, the thing, no, and there's even there's even like a little circle. You can loop de loop. Around. Interesting. I don't know. Hey, I've, Wade Rain. I've, I've never heard of another porcupine no, game. No, so, never. So I, I don't think so. I don't think no, this Zippy is a part must of be, anything. This is a completely totally unique, unique, totally unique concept. <laughs> this is also the same person who did Princess Rescue. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's obviously not related to anything else. Not at all. Nothing like that. No. So that is the fourth game we'll be playing, uh, Zippy the Porcupine, and that's a boxed copy of it. And I wanted to buy the boxed copy of it before it possibly disappeared, oh, like yeah. Princess Rescue did. Did what happened to Princess Rescue? Do we have to rescue Princess we Rescue? We do. <laughs> um, it got pulled. Oh no. For reasons. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I think I know what's up, man. Possible I reasons that were up. never stated, but oh, yeah. there were reasons. Um, when we when we did play, uh, no, it's not that game, Mister oh, Fix. We no. don't know what you're talking about. Um, I wanna... What is that game? I've never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers, some of which are in here. Um, Atari Spot, A Tasty Sandwich, Charles and Check, Gretems, Ground Trooper, Ice Bosta, Mr. Fix, Mr. Muddy Fix. Funster, Retro Happy Hour, and Tiki Dan K. Dude, Retro Happy Hour, I've never heard that one before. No, that's, that's a, a lurker. That's, that's somebody who one, uh, right? doesn't type. I've never seen them type, but they enjoy the show. And if you would like to also be a Twitch subscriber and you have Amazon Prime, you can link them up and subscribe for free and sends a little bit our way and supports the show. Um, so... <laughs> Dad just yes. said, did they put Nint a cease and desist on Princess the, the Rescue? Big, the big N came down on uh, Princess yeah. Rescue. Yeah. I mean, it, it's only their biggest okay. title <laughs> yeah. ever. They're so. very protective. Very, very protective. <laughs> so we're going to put the poll up. Let's start that poll. 
There we go. So yeah, today's more Paul every day. I remember this. Yeah. Um, last last Wednesday was the greatest happenstance. <laughs> it was total coincidence. You're like, we should ask the people what blah blah blah. <laughs> and you're like, and well, like, let's well, just. Brrr. I've got that done. Remember, you can't change your vote, so be very careful what you're, what you. Uh, actually, it's multiple. Is it multiple? Oh God! One th one second. Let me let. Me, I'm going to oh, close man. the poll because I think I didn't specify more than one. Okay. So okay, cool. Hold, hold on. We'll be doing this poll again. Uh, one second. Bam. Yeah. Because I want people to have all the options so you can have up to eight options. There we go. Perfect. So start the poll again. Okay. So now you can pick more than one, but just be careful when you're ready. It's to pick more than one, you do one comma space, two comma space, three comma, for whatever you want. So this is a question of which consoles that people play their homebrews on. Yeah. So if you play it on more than one uh, console, like the options are Atari 2600, obviously most people are going to pick that. Mm -hmm. um, Atari 5200, 7800. Um, these are just consoles. Uh, ColecoVision, Intellivision. Channel F, that's an obscure one. I just threw that in. Yeah, because, you gotta... Because <laughs> I do have some homebrew for Channel F. Super, what is I, Channel F? It's the it's Fair, Fairchild. It was the first console to ever have programmable cartridges. Wow. To have the game on the cartridge. Because before that, they were mostly Pong consoles where it was built into it. Where you turn it on, there's no options. You get what you get in it. And this one had the game on the cartridge. So you could buy more cartridges and have different games. There were ones before Channel F that had cartridges, but all it did was pick which game you yeah. played. And the games were all already in the in the console itself. So this was this is the first um, console, Channel F, that um, you could have new games. So there's still games being made today for Channel F, and it was the first one ever put out. Uh, about nine months before the 2600, so I think it was 1977, early 77, wow. if I'm, if I remember correctly. Um, so the numbers are coming in, excellent. Um, personally, I have played uh, homebrew on. Let me go back to the list here. 2600, obviously. Um, I don't have my 5200 and 7800 up and running, so I haven't been able to play yeah. Homebrew on that. I mean, I feel like this just does everything you need, right? <laughs> For now. For now. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, there's, you know. It's it's my favorite console, obviously. Yeah. And it and it's... <laughs> You wouldn't make a show around your not favorite console. I hate console. this thing. <laughs> stupid, tw <laughs> stupid 2600. What's the point of that stupid thing? It's so old. <laughs> why don't we play PS4 games or something? Yeah, yeah. why isn't this just play like vibe Steam, or... man? Why yeah, don't we just get some... Yeah, just <laughs> steam some games on there. I don't need to pay for them. I have them on the cartridge. That's right. You know, you play them till they disappear, and the companies pull them, and then you never see we them again. Just only play Mass Effect three over and over again. Commas and spaces is a no go. Got to be one vote per message. Okay, so I don't know. It's giving wrong examples then, because the example it gave looked like you could do vote by typing one, two, three. Okay, so it looks like you do it individually. Okay, Atari spots on it. Thank you, Atari. Yes, Spot. you're you're holding up your your your, your end name. of the bargain. Yes, you're on Man. it. Man, got any PS5 homebrews or Xbox Two homebrews? Yeah. They're coming down the they're, pipeline. They're going. Cut to me and James is just, we're there got nursing home. We're just... strapped on our faces, <laughs> going like this. <laughs> this Ground trooper, you're late. What the hell? Good karma coming your way, doing a good deed. That's awesome. It's okay. You can be late. It's um, totally fine, man. The poll is up, so we gotta it's... look after our neighbor and our neighborhood. And That's everything. right. Um, here's the news. Uh, here's a, a non-news news item because <laughs> I can't say things sometimes. Um, I can't really say anything about it just yet, but I was talking. Oh, with... so this is a tease. It's a tease. Yes, it's a good. Oh. It's, that's a good one. Teaser. <laughs> Um, I was talking with Dan Kitchen on the phone the other day, because uh, I'll be interviewing him soon, but we'll get to that, about his new game, and uh, all I can say is, oh. Primo, it's going to be fun. And we have the exclusive release of it. What? Exclusive preview of Dan Kitchen's new game, so 
it's um, I feel like doing this show is paying off for your <laughs> your hobby of playing homebrews. Yeah, man. it's pretty good. You get all the all the newest games. Yeah, teaser. Yes, it is That's a teaser. Funny. And this is his. Um, he, I don't know if you know about Arena Foot Systems. I was like, when? Yeah, <laughs> oh, when? Just when? Just give me some dates, man. I need <laughs> pretty soon, probably. Yeah. It's it's looking good. It's looking really good. And and of course he will be um, giving a preview before it's done. We're cool. not gonna have to wait till it's completely done. So he wants to, obviously people want to get their games to a point where it's it's playable, it's fun, most of the elements are there, and you can show it off a bit. Definitely, and yeah. maybe there's like a little bit to improve still. You want to yes. kind of and, like, and get suggestions. Yeah, it's like hey, from what do you chat, think of this? From us, from everybody. How does how's the gameplay balance out? But this is for his uh, a tease within a tease yes. arena. <laughs> <laughs> uh, his Keystone. Uh, Keystone Capers too. There's no, there's no name settled yet, but there's he's he's that's told, a cool name. I like that name. Yeah, but it's owned by Activision, so oh, you can't, really? you okay, can't use you Keystone go. Capers too, because it's it's like it's like it was. <laughs> Dude, I suppose the rolls six. in. He's like oh, all. Oh, <laughs> you have to do it. Apparently, you have to do it on each one per line. So you have to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, but, 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 but. Yes, so it won't be called Keystone Capers 2. He's told me some names, um, but he hasn't settled on one yet. But, oh, it looks good. It's oh, going to be a I'm, lot of fun. I'm stoked. Yeah, and, um, yeah, it's, it's, we've shown pictures of it, so I can say that. It's on a train, and the train's going along the tracks, and there's going to be animals in the train. It's, it's like a circus car, and you have to get from the back to the front of the car. And there's, there's things you have to do. He's told me stuff. But I can't tell you what it is. But there's stuff you'll have to do, and it looks, and of course, it looks exactly like an Activision game. It looks right. beautiful and colorful, and and I'm guessing he's going with the rule of no flickering. Um, but I'll ask him that in the interview, which uh, is this, is brings it? me to the next point. Oh, is interviews? I'm going to be going down to Portland Retro Gaming Expo. I'll actually be down there tomorrow night. Holy cow! Yeah, helping um, Al from Atari Age set up his booth. Um, you know, we got to help out. How put, yeah. put in it's the a work. small, it's a small community. Yeah, everybody As pitches in. Ground Trooper said, "Yeah, it was, you're gonna do a good deed for a neighbor." That's right. Yeah, P Portland Retro Gaming Expo is this weekend. Um, Friday is all the pinballs and arcade games that are open, so it doesn't interfere. People can get that out of their system, and then the next two days are you know listen to talks. Dan um, Dan Kitchen's gonna give a talk wow. with his brother Gary. Um, on Activision, the old school stuff, and uh, I'll be doing interviews with Dan Kitchen Ooh. about his new game Ooh. and about homebrew, and also with Al from Atari Age and John Champo from Champ Games. Big names. Yeah, man, those will be some fascinating yeah. interviews just to hear where they're, what they're thinking and yeah. where they're at. It's going to be yeah, it's gonna be what amazing. they think about homebrew, and everybody can post uh, questions for me. Uh, you don't post them in the chat because they'll just disappear after a while. Just uh, get in touch with me on the various other things. If you want me to ask them a question, it should be about homebrew, obviously, because that's that's my that's what I'm going to concentrate on. Yeah. New homebrew games and specifically their games or games they're releasing or the homebrew scene in general. Um, yeah. Anything you guys want to know, I can see if I can uh, pass that on, ask them. The questions and get it back to you guys because after i'm done the interviews i'll be putting it up on the youtube channel for yeah. everybody to check out and haag is this weekend as what, well and i wish that? i knew what that acronym was let us know arena let's see a... games homebrew no i don't think it's homebrew houston i know it's houston houston gaming <laughs> i don't know what the a's are i'm trying yeah, it's just funny atar is like dang was gonna have you ask everyone if a hot dog is a sandwich yeah that's actually a classic thing what a I've meme I've, I've heard you know lots of discussions around that yeah whether it's a sandwich or if it's a hot dog what's the other option or just whether it is a sandwich or not a sandwich i guess well yeah classified how do you... Some people are like, oh, it's got a hinge, therefore it's not a sandwich, sandwich. but there are sandwiches with hinges. It's, it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a silly thing. Houston area arcade group. group. Cool. So I guess they focus on primarily har arcade that makes uh, a lot games, of sense. like arcade cabinet games and ports of arcades. <laughs> memes. He's got a whole bag of memes. Yeah. Meme us up, Atari. Well, this could be the meme stream. 
Next year, Atari Age may not attend PRGE. Well, hmm, okay, well, that's interesting. Maybe I'll ask about that. Uh, that would be, because it's huge. <laughs> Mr. We, we do want Shoplifter. We want Shoplifter. That's right, man. Um, and I'll be checking out the homebrews at Atari Age and other places. I'll try and be doing a, um, a live stream as well. Playing, oh, that's going to be Playing the demos cool. there if all the technology works out okay. It's always challenging, but... You know. Yeah, because it's in a building, whether the reception's good enough, whether it's fast enough to do it. Um, oh, they would be going to a different... So maybe I'll go there next time. Yeah, why not? <laughs> go to Houston. Because Tanya and I, we have wanted to go to Houston for a while. Houston so that'd be would a good be a cool excuse. place to go, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> so some new homebrews coming from Atari Age, Dungeon 2 which I'll be buying and we'll be playing. I'm, uh, anything with Dungeon in the title <laughs> I'm in, man. Yep. I don't even... <laughs> uh, Sheep It Up, which is a bouncy vertical thing, very much like Amoeba Jump. Uh, space Game, which we played on here. It has power-ups and you shoot things. It's cool. pretty fun. Balloon Trip, which I'll definitely be picking up because that's super fun. Mappy, I'll be picking up. Froggy for the 7800, I'll probably be picking up. It'll be my first... 7800 homebrew because it oh, looks cool. good it's frogger right it's frogger. oh yeah yeah it's frogger <laughs> that was froggy yeah and serpentine what today is the, the theme of today is uh, don't say what is it avoiding is avoiding copyright <laughs> that's right like that's... <laughs> and he's got and they're gonna have some demos there of amoeba jump wizard of war arcade um a, a whole bunch of atari 2600 trackball hacks so these were games that were in the arcade that were trackball games like the roller yeah. ball um, and then were ported to the 2600, but weren't used with the trackball in the 2600, but should have been. And people have gone in, and uh, I can't remember the uh, Thomas Yentz, I think, contributed a lot of these and hacked them so that they were able to use the, the rollerballs. Unfortunately, they're just demos right now, but I think they'll be released later on in the year as actual games. Froggy is solid for sure. Yeah, I saw some video of Froggy and I'm like, oh boy, I have to buy this for uh, one specific reason as well. Oh. I should probably not say <laughs> why. Today is a teasing <laughs> day. Oh my but God. But it, uh, it is a copyright issue and, it, oh, and that's why you should buy it right away when it comes out because um, they're treading on thin ice. Whoever, there's mouses that are like trackballs. Yeah, like, trackballs and upside down. And they're terrible. Down. I remember like having to deal with those. Oh. But you're right, an upside down mouse. It's like an upside down old school mouse, not a laser mouse. Even though you could probably yeah. do the laser with your hand. Yeah, poorly, I've always tried terribly. that. When I flip it around, I do it with the finger. But it really, it's more just for a, a fun moment. It's... Yeah, and I should get my 7800 uh, up and going as well. Um, each vendor at PRG has a different trading card. Yes, they do. I'm not sure how that works. I've seen some... There's a pack of trading cards that you get at PRGE when you go through the door. And, and the ones they showed were all the different consoles. And I think there are other individual cards that you go around and collect at the different booths, which is kind of cool, too. I'm, so, I was just thinking, man, like yeah. six months ago, eight months ago, never in a million years, but I think I've learned this. so much about Atari 2600 Homebrew. Yeah. It's been quite the education, man. Quite it's the crazy. Coaster. It's been a ride. <laughs> uh, Robo Ninja Climb, which we did play. I was going to interview Nathan uh, Tolbert, uh, who did Robo Ninja Climb and yeah. other games, but unfortunately he couldn't make it um, to the to Portland Retro Gaming Expo next year. Then I'll interview him there, maybe. Ardvark. Did we play that? Did I? Did you play Aardvark? Oh, yeah, you did. Oh, yes. You're with the tongue. So that'll be a demo there. That was there. a fun one. That's hard game, though. Yeah. Um, and Plague by uh, Janos Zoltan Ferrer. Yeah, I'm probably totally mangling that. No, that sounds... <laughs> so yeah, we'll be trying to do a live stream. And what I want to do in the live stream is the demos of the games at Atari Age, at least. And going around the booth, showing what they're selling. And then maybe some other homebrew booths as well, if I can get to them. I don't... Yeah, it'd be a good idea to just because I'd have to stop the stream and then go find another one and do another home, uh, another stream. That's my plan anyway, and I'll be filming it regardless of whether I'm able to stream or not. So and Arena Foot's books. Yeah, you gotta buy some Arena Foot books. Yeah, so they'll be at the Atari Age booth as well. Ten bucks each, uh, apparently. <laughs> Arena Foot says. Okay, um, and I got I've got an announcement from Cool Crab. Uh, he said the box, this is the person who uh, we're going to be playing 
his game, Monkey King. Oh, so yeah. he did a game before Monkey King called Astronomer, which was on the Retron 77. But now it's getting a boxed release copy. It was just a cartridge release. Um, so there's going to be 40 boxed copies of Astronomer. Um, I don't think you played that game, did you? You are like scanning for stars and you have to follow the stars with your like the kind of a laser beam but it's your view of the stars and you follow them as they move across the sky to get the best picture of them and there's clouds going across so you have to turn off your beam when the clouds go in front so it doesn't ruin your shot and it's kind of a fun little cool game wow so that's that's what the, a concept that's yeah crazy. it's totally very it's a very different concept it's not like a it's not arcadey no. It's, it's more of a relaxed game, but it, it's lots of fun. And we played it on the Retron 77, and it's it's really fun. Tanya and I played it. So that'll be coming out at uh, Packrat uh, video game uh, website. So they're going to be doing the distribution for that one. And here is the picture of the... Let me get it up here. Hello? I'll have to take off the poll question for a second. There we go. Looking for stargazers. Looking for stargazers. So what wow. that is, is they're going to also have a patch. And this is like a high score patch. They had them back with Activision games in the 80s and 90s. That if you got a high score in the game, you take a photograph of your high score and you send it to Activision. And if it was high enough, they'd tell you, you know, 100,000 points or whatever they would send you back a patch saying congratulations you are you you got a good score and people would collect these patches wow. right it was like an incentive you get you buy the game you get a high score you send it off you get that patch you buy the next game um so those are collectibles now these patches along with the letter um so you they had tons and tons of patches so this is kind of carrying on that tradition of patches um Oh, he, yeah, Arena Foot said it there. Yeah, so um, Astronomer has patches, and you have to get 20 stars. Observe okay. 20 stars in the game. I don't know how many is, stars is, is I got. Is that in, like, one, one? One full flip. game. Wow. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, Mr. Fix has the patch for Star Master, and I think some of the rankings. Uh, oh, yes, there's a patch for uh, Space Cactus Canyon, which I don't think we've played on the show yet. No, I've never no. played it's a, it's, I would remember it's a very different Space game. Cactus Canyon for sure. <laughs> yes. Um, so we'll, we'll get to get around to playing that game. Cool. Um, but they have a patch too, so they're kind of bringing back that old school feel where you kind of interact with the uh, with the makers of the game and the the companies that were releasing the now game. Now there's this new issue of. Uh... Of like Photoshop and there you is. know like I feel like back or in the, hacking the game yeah or, like back in the day you it was it would be pretty tricky. They need to know that you bought the game. Ah. They have the record of everyone who bought the game. Smart, very so smart. If you didn't buy the game, if you're hacking, I guess you could also, still Photoshop it, but but come like on, also, guys. what are you doing? I mean, <laughs> if you're Photoshopping your like patch of this yeah. beautiful homebrew game, because like... I, I want some of those patches from those Activision games, but I I wouldn't be able to bring myself to buying one unless I actually earned it. Yeah, man. Like if I didn't get a high score in Frostbite. I'm not going to buy that patch. Like I no, and it, don't feel the I'm The point qualified. of having the patch is to be like, this is something I achieved. Yeah. It's an achievement. Exactly. It's, not, and it's a game, man. Oh, don't... Alex's high score is 22. And you so, said 20 stars takes yeah. about two hours. Oh, my God. Okay, that's an accomplishment. Okay. If the person who made the game can only get 22, and it takes two hours to get it, and you have to get 20, you earned that patch. You, yeah, you, you definitely that earned that patch, patch. man. Um, so that is happening, I'm um, not sure exactly when, but keep your eyes open on the Packrat uh, video game uh, website. Um, uh, Mr. Fix says I got the patch for Star Master and I think some of the rankings. Oh. Wow. Star Master, that's a fun game. That's a, that's a very complicated game, like you're, you're going around space and then you shoot somebody and then you go to another quadrant and then you shoot the bad guys and you're flipping the switches on the console for different maps, like the wow. overview map and then you go back and then you 
you transport you go in hyperspace and you have to shoot things that are coming at you in hyperspace it's really good i can't really, really, I, really I, just say, I can't wait to see hear these interviews i'm looking forward to that that's going to be really neat yeah and, and hopefully i can come up with some decent questions oh and, you for sure will. <laughs> that people really want to know see if anyone can do shoplifter can you do shoplifter can you do shoplifter can you yeah mr fix really wants shoplifter a limited bet that has to be the, the last question oh yes they're coming out on the 21st sorry i did miss the date of the boxed edition yeah. cool sorry what were you saying i was gonna say it's gotta be the last question for will you do shoplifter like, yeah plus. just you no, know just i'm not that kind of interviewer <laughs> what, what at the end of the interview request <laughs> request yeah can you spend hundreds of hours of your personal just, time for just something to make something that's... for mr fix and us <laughs> <laughs> So let's get on to the first game, which is Alien Attack. Oh. And my screen is showing green, so let me troubleshoot. Oh, oh, I think it's going to go. There we go. Okay, cool. And didn't interrupt the stream. That's my biggest Good. concern. Okay. So there you go. And this is made by Edward Smith. Let me switch this wow, which over. Which one is it? Actually, let's take a look at the polls first. Hold on, is it Alien Attack we're playing? No, no, no. Uh, yeah, way. Alien Attack is okay, the first cool. one. So, actually, it's a it's a tie between Atari Twenty Six Hundred and Atari Fifty Two Hundred with uh, twenty three. That point... surprises me a lot. I would have thought Twenty Six Hundred and then like Seventy Eight Hundred because yeah. it's like the both ends, but. Yeah, that's very interesting. So Atari 2600 first, tied with first for 5200. And then a 7800 and other are tied. And then nothing for Nintendo. <laughs> it's, not, it's not the right era. Like we, th I put that in to see if anybody crossed over to that era, but it's... That's do, they like, do, do they do that for Nintendo? Is that oh, a yeah, thing? It is. Oh, okay. It, the 2600 is the biggest but for homebrew. Yeah. Um, Nintendo has a lot. Um, but I'm usually unimpressed with what the pro the very, very few have kind of games that push the hardware because it takes a lot more work to, to program for the NES. Like you can make huge games for it, but I, most of them there are like simple platformers I find. Um, so I find people working on the Atari 2600 really push the hardware and it just takes a lot more work to do yeah. an NES. And it's just the it's just the wrong crowd um, asking them about NES games. That's yeah. for sure. Because that's like uh, the it's like going to a Coke convention, being like, "Who here likes Pepsi?" It's yeah, like, it's uh, like the poll what? says no one drinks Pepsi. <laughs> yes, no one at all. <laughs> yeah, I, I think Vectrex is the second biggest. I don't want to. I, I see a lot of Vectrex, but that but might that's be because cool... I'm in a bubble because I do pay attention to Vectrex homebrew because I have a, a yeah, lot of I mean, it. Yeah, but that's a cool system, man. It's it's just, a, I think that's why, because it's as unique as the 2600. Yeah. It's, it's almost the same. You're drawing in real time on the 2600 and the Vectrex. So it's a challenge. Right? I'm starting to appreciate the modernist design <laughs> element of all this. You know, like yeah. where it's the simplicity of, um, the, of yes. the function before form kind of thing. You know, like yes. like the one button and a joystick, you know? <laughs> That's like, right. Versus I think when you get to like, you have nine buttons and it rumbles and there's the sound, you know. And it's wireless. And, <laughs> it's like. And you can tilt it and everything. No, we got to chill out. We yeah. got we to gotta simplify. We yeah. got to go back. One button, 2D. One one tiny little pixel dude. Exactly. Yeah. So let's switch over. Go for it. Okay, this one right here. Yep. So this um. is the final version of it. it okay. Says alien attack, and it's got the nice Whoa. star field. Oh, you're jumping right oh. into it. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> These guys are just gonna come at me, and I gotta kill them. Yep. Space shooter. What happens if they land? Um, like... looks like you're okay if they land there. So let me bring up it's like giving me numbers. the manual here. Yeah, you got a countdown timer okay, on the top left. Okay, it feels left. rough, man. And oh, you got two, which might be your lives. And you got some bases at the bottom. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I've I'm... never bought an NES homebrew. Wow, I'm confused by what's going on. But I've seen a couple that be like, oh, maybe that might be okay to buy. But most of them are like, eh, not not too impressive. Oh, hey, Mizzy G0525. That's Mizzy a new name. G. 
Okay, I'm, I'm, I still don't know what's happening. Um, I feel like... <laughs> I think you start... To... Am I winning? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I think you died, so... Oh, no, you didn't. Okay. I did play this for a bit to okay, see okay, okay. if things cut out. I'm, and con it... I'm so confused. I... How, do we, how do we measure my success? I don't know. Let me bring <laughs> up... I'm going to bring up the manual so okay. that we are on top of things. Are these but there are some line jumps in here. So I'm trying to figure out whether I should not let these guys land. Mizzy, you're you're too enthusiastic. You're making me think you're a bot, or trying to sell us something. Or Mizzy, <laughs> how are you guys? How are you guys? Hi, 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 hi. Okay, okay. S smelling like a bot. Smelling like you're gonna put a link. I R sell shaving cream. Link Go to. <laughs> yes. Check Whoa. out. Check out my my cam Whoa, video. Am I supposed to kill? Whoa. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Oh my god. Right Okay, I died. Oh, were you shooting at the base? Oh, I'm sorry, Mizzy. You're not oh, a bot. Okay. <laughs> we're, okay. we're complete. We apologize. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Mizzy. Um, alien attack. You're defending the colony. Oh, I see. There's like my my colonies are, welcome, are down there. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the show. We're playing new games on classic consoles. And thanks for coming in for the first time. Watching us play some uh, Atari 2600 it's games. okay. Thanks for forgiving us, yes. Mizzy. Yeah. We were presumptuous. We were defensive. We we just, we don't, we got some trust issues. <laughs> over. Trust. Yes. Obviously we do. <laughs> Clearly we've got some trust issues. You're defending the colony from the alien attack. Oh I God. bet those are the colony. Those are definitely the colony, and my ability to defend it is pretty Four. low. <laughs> you must defeat 16 waves of six oh. aliens... To save the colony okay. and win three mothership battles. Oh, there's bigger battles. Um, level 6, 12, and 19. Oh, I think you're on level 4 now. So that's probably the level in the right top. Uh, the aliens will try to knock out your laser cannon, which you have two of now, and your laser cannon energy batteries. Oh, is that what's down there? Yeah, man. Your laser cannon power supply will only last for a count of 60, which it's counting down right now. You're at 37. Uh, so each wave must be defeated within that time. Uh, so you're almost to issue. level 6. You've got 16 seconds left. I, Get those three I guys. Know, man. This is 12 seconds. This is rough. This Nine. Is oh, now it's beeping. It's getting embarrassing. Why can't we hear oh, it? Oh, my God. I'm just like... Oh, sorry, everyone. There. Just in time to hear him die. You died. Well, just because other streamers try. are like that. We want to be go beyond the other. That's right. We want to be. I, oh, man. Mizzy, Mizzy says you got it. And this. Mizzy's already, like, supporting me at my fight. That's what we need. We need more support. Okay. Awesome. Nobody else is talking, so she is She is your only supporter right now. That's true. Okay. That's all we need is one. one. One person in the know. crowd. Mizzy's a girl. I mean, Mizzy sounds like a feminine name, but you just never know. Do not assume. Mizzy could be like Stop the name the of someone's dog or could their be. favorite thing. Yep. I don't know. Where, where's your, your name come thing. from, Mizzy? Lol. I'm a he. See? You oh, assumed. Uh, see? And you messed up. You done goofed. <laughs> I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I done goofed. Um, okay, I don't understand why I only have one now. Because you got hit. Oh, am I dead? Yeah. Yep. You only have three lives, okay. three ships. You have a shield which can be activated by pulling down on the joystick. Oh my there god. There you go. Okay. And it said a shield, so I think it's going. Um, oh, no, I got it oh, back. Your, your shield will last for one second, but it cannot be activated again for four seconds. It's okay. The shield also puts a higher drain on your power. Wow. Five units. Whoa. What is the power? I, I think, haven't figured that out yet. Okay, we're in, we're gonna figure something out. I, I it's ridiculous that I did the oh, best. I bet it's the top left is the power, so you don't really want to use it because you have thirty seven seconds left and you have to shoot a lot more waves. Yeah, I gotta murder a lot of people. Mizzy G got his name from one of his friends. Cool. Oh, Mr. Fix is supporting you as well. Mr. Fix, thanks, dude. The Starfield and the ship oh. remind me of Cosmic Arc. Yes, oh. very big influence there. Okay, I'm the just Starfield missing is... everything. This is not... 42 seconds. Oh, oh my god, that was my chance. Maybe it's, maybe it's 60 that seconds per chance. wave. Yes. Okay. No, it doesn't reset. Okay. I think you got to make it all the way to wave 6 before... No, no, it reset. So every... I think there's two sets per no, level. Oh, six per level. Done. My guys are done. 
Six al 16 waves of six oh. aliens. Rough, okay. Okay, the left difficulty switch toggles between multi-cannon, which we're on, or single cannon. Okay, so I'm, I'm in a luxurious zone. Yeah, you're in the easy going. mode right now. Okay, and I'm not even doing well. Okay, well, it's okay. Can you defeat the aliens and <laughs> save see. the colony? So far, you haven't made it past the first big wave yet. Hey, so. man, I, I got to the mothership. Your colonies the are dying. very first one. Your oh, colonies no. are dying. Just nuke it from space just to be safe. Just be done. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yeah. But, the, but the nuke won't do anything. It's okay. We're, we're Americans. <laughs> the whole world's supporting our guys. Yeah, you can do it. Wave three. Uh, I got my name. For, uh, have you guys played Galaga? That's my favorite game. Galaga is my favorite game as is well. Is that true? It is. Galaga is my favorite game. Galaga was never made for the 2600. It is one of my dreams Are you that one be, day. You'll be the guy who, who makes it? No. It's some, so some, hard. It's, it's one will. of the hardest games of the old school, probably to program, because there's so many things going on in the screen that the Atari 2600, you could... There's two problems with it, yeah? making Galaga. One is that there's a lot of stuff going on in the screen. Lots of things diving all over the place. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, you're at, you made Whoa. it. You Whoa. made it. I don't know. Do I have to shoot? Oh, like... you lost a guy. I'm trying to figure out though. Shoot like... the middle, probably. Right up the middle. Right up the exhaust port. <sighs> okay, there you go. Oh, oh. shit. Okay. Oh, I didn't lose a life. I'm still okay. going. You're still, you're still good. at it. Oh, uh, Mizzy says uh, high score is 18 levels. On this one. Oh, shoot the center, somebody says. That's what we thought. Thanks, Arena. That makes a lot of sense, man. It does. Um, That's what James was saying. I was like, why don't I just randomly <laughs> shoot at the general area? I feel like no tactic ever is that. <laughs> just randomly shoot wherever What's your you want. Ta tactics for tennis? I just sort of randomly hit the ball. And I wave my seven. racket in the air. <laughs> I throw it in the air. Maybe it'll hit the ball. Maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. Um, the other thing with Galaga is the enemies have very... Um, particular pattern of movement, yeah, which is hard to do because um, you have to program the the movement of them. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, so, but mostly it's the number of enemies on the screen. But there have been a lot of advances recently in that kind of programming. Oh yeah, I'm right so in the wide. middle. We gotta, you gotta get all. I think it's, I'm hitting them because it's. Oh, you're beat. doing it. You're doing way better than I did. And the problem is, is you gotta protect your colony. Oh no! So what? It's tough, man. How That's do I rough. protect? Because every time he shoots, he's killing this but colony. But how do I protect that from the shots? Maybe if I'm trying to protect me the from the shots, I don't know. oh, maybe shoot the shots. I think you have to, but that's tricky, man. Because like. It's not an easy game. This looks beautiful, though. This is very cool. Oh, it's all colorful you when did, you're you dead. You did way better than I did. <laughs> no, we got to the same point. No, but it took me like the ship. It, it took me like oh, nine years yeah. to get there, <laughs> and uh, then you on the first go. You blazed like, the trail. I figured out how to play That's from true. from watching you. It's Gala. It's it is Galaga that I have eighteen levels. What? What? Oh, that makes oh, sense. Oh, my high score is eighteen levels on Galaga. Yeah, okay. you were saying eighteen on this. Yeah. No, she likes Galaga. Or he likes Galaga. That makes sense. So, it's Mizzy. It's just throwing me off. Um, plus the capture of your ship. Um, that would be challenging. It's just, but they're stacked, so it's not too bad. Like during that time, you're not really playing. Not, I bet you when you kill the mothership, you get all your ships back. Or else oh, that would be. Or really... else this is a hard game. Yeah, you would. You would get them all back for sure. Um, it's it. The challenge is making Galaga with very little flicker, so that it's not. You know, multiplexing the sprites. Oh, I bet the, you. I bet point. you got to use these shields for this guy. Oh, maybe for yeah, yeah. that like, makes like, a lot like of sense. Like absorb these shots. It absorb the bullets. Yeah. For, for Be the, the cannon fodder. Yeah, it's totally taking it. No, you're, you're no careful. Ah. Oh man. Hold on, can I have one more? Yeah, you can do it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that that was um again a tactic Did no one no one ever suggests to just stand in front of the gun <laughs> just stand in front of it absorb it i uh, see arnold schwarzenegger method in the last uh, action uh, hero uh, 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 <laughs> just take it I'm off scarface that's right come on <laughs> doesn't even hurt he's standing at the top of his uh 
this balcony interior. That's right. After a <laughs> lot the of cocaine, though. A lot of cocaine. Yeah. Um, let's see if whatever notes I have on this game. So, note from Edward, because I was talking with him about the game. There Who's are Edward? Uh, uh, Edward Smith, E.A. Smith, oh, the okay, creator cool. of the game. So he actually said tomorrow is his birthday, which is today. Oh, happy birthday, Edward. Yes, happy birthday. So he doesn't know if he could make it, and I don't I can understand see why. him in the chat. Is he? I think no. he'd probably tell us. He'd yeah, he would announce it. But So I, I guess yeah. it, he got really busy. It's just a bad coincidence, or good coincidence. We're playing his games on his birthday. So I think that's more positive thing. Absolutely. Oh, you're down to one dude. It's tough, man. It's tough. Um, there are bosses on aliens attack on alien attack, but not till after wave four. That's not a hint. We know that. Why did he include that? Let me reread the boss part because that didn't make sense. And win three mothership battles, level six. Okay, that's fine. The aliens will try to knock out your laser cannon and your laser cannon energy batteries. Okay. Oh boy, you are really in trouble. One more guy, get him. Oh, didn't no. make it. You okay, gotta make it to the mothership okay, again. Okay, Come cool. on. Cool, thanks man, I yep. appreciate it. It doesn't give any hints about the mothership. Yeah, I wow. love Galaga, but it is, I'm not. Is it a hard game? It's I'm, challenging. Never... I wouldn't say it's like super hard. Um, it's a shooter. Yeah. Yep. And you said your favorites are space shooters. I don't want to quote you though on that. I um, shouldn't. It's one genre I like. Um, yeah, space shooters, um, platformers, um, some RPGs, but usually not because sometimes they just get way too involved. Yeah. I like the balance between fun and strategy. It has to be a nice balance. Like if it's too much strategy, I'm like, oh, this is. It's just taking too long. There's nothing I yeah, want to get out there and wanna, fight. You don't want to stare right? at the screen. And no, have... adjusting stats for two hours and adding one there, minus one there. Yeah, min-maxing. Would the challenging stage Excuse be hard me. in the 2600? No. That would be easier. Um, I don't know how many in a row they have. It'd be Because when they come down from the ceiling on the challenging stages... Oh, man. Um, they come as twos, maximum. Yeah, see, you, should got, you gotta come in and... Shovel Knight. I do play Shovel Knight. Not very but good. we only play Homebrew <laughs> and 2600 specifically on this channel. Um, so that does not qualify remotely. <laughs> um, but I do love Shovel Knight. It is um, very retro, pixely like 16-bit era yeah um oh i lost a ship already um yeah it's better. like a platformer you crushed the first time i was like oh no um yeah there's like power-ups and it's lots of fun i have it for I ps4 i've never played shovel knight but i've heard like i've seen like the retro. image of it like the avatar for a lot of people is like shovel knight yeah he's a knight and has a shovel yeah. <laughs> that's his weapon you can dig and shovel treasure and smash and jump people with it. The power ups and oh, I'm doing really bad because I lost my ship. That is th that's probably why Galaga was brought up with this one because in Galaga you can get one of your ship. Oh my god, one of your ships captured. I'm doing terrible. Come on, ah, it's not one easy. One of your ships captured and then you have two ships shooting yeah. and this has three ships to start with. And the thing is, if you don't keep your two ships, the game is very hard. Just yeah. like this one. When you're down to one ship, it's like, ah, oh, it's so hard to shoot him. I, oh I'm, my god, my gut, why am I getting worse at this game? Honestly, my, my gut tells me that, like, <laughs> I betcha, like, when we beat this, this mothership, I don't think we're getting our ships back. <laughs> You don't uh, think so? I don't think so. There's no replenishment? No... Uh, I don't see that. I think this is a suicide okay. mission oh. to force this. There's no reinforcements? There's... No, I don't think so. I think I think that's it. Where are the reinforcements? Oh, boy. That is not a good thing. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. But my gut tells me that's our, that's our reality. Oh, there's auto fire. Oh, well, that's easier. Yep. Actual auto fire, not like cheating. Oh, no. Oh. How did I do so well? And then do so poorly. Oh my god, they're like dodging me. 
It's a tough game, man. It is. There's also a lot of stars in the star system. I'm gonna <laughs> throw that out there. Yeah, there are. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. It's like really hard when you just got one chip, man. Keep going, keep going. You have it on the Nintendo Switch. Yes, I have not bought the Switch yet. Um, mainly because I have a pile of games I haven't played for the PS4 and other systems. And I've been preoccupied, obviously, with this show and just playing all these games. Oh my god. It's okay, it's okay. I, I shouldn't get in the middle of those three guys. I should. Well, it's hard to dodge outskirts. with all three, right? I mean, it's that's the thing is that you, you have, like, a... It's harder for you to hit them, but it's harder for them to hit you. Yeah, it's a good. But then, but that's where the timing becomes a big deal. Yeah. There we go. But there is a bit of a strategy. Like when they shoot, they can they have to kind of power up again, and then you can get in. Like they shoot, and then you get in, because they can't shoot you again right away. Oh my God! Now I'm not going to. Well, some are easy. Like sometimes they hover sort of by the left. Okay. You got turn. this. You got this. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, no. Something happened. Yep. We'll reset if it's... Uh... Yeah, you lost a life. Oh, no. They're still they're seeing like a slow down version of it. It'll come back in a second. Okay. Bam. Okay, we're back. Yeah, the line count in this game is not steady unfortunately i did do a trial run of it to make sure that it would work but it's so rare like it's only happened twice so galaga on the c64 wasn't good uh no it was terrible what's the c64 yeah uh, commodore 64 oh, it yeah, was like a home computer um yes galencia is better <laughs> Imagine that. I bought uh, Galencia for the C64, be having um, the uh, Galaga being my favorite game. So, and I haven't played it yet, which is terrible. Um, mostly because my C64 is packed away. Oh, you're doing pretty good. Oh, just barely skimmed in there. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the... I know, I'm just, I just figured... The that shields again. Good. That's a super good tactic. I think it's going to be critical for um, yeah. taking down these motherships. I think so too. So you almost have to block the shot with the shield. I think so, and then shoot it. But then it's also wailing on your, yeah, your I think colonies it, too. Like it's, I think it shoots more than once every four seconds. So it's going to be pretty tough. Yeah, the C64 never got a proper port, like a licensed port of Galaga. Oh, that's an interesting tactic. Like just for when it's one. Yeah, you, it's too like, much with three. They're all over the place. That might work. Oh, it does work. Shield. I'm trying, man. There's not that many. <gasps> oh, dude! It. Oh, but and see, you don't like, get it back. <laughs> like I said, you don't. Oh my god. This is, <gasps> these are so this game much faster, is, too. This game is brutal. This is rough. Okay, but <laughs> hold on. Yes. Yeah, it does work. Okay. Okay, but like, got good some, luck. Got a, a tiny leg up on the game now. So it's come more on, of come like on a. on my side. Mr. Fix says, "Got it, Erlen. You oh, got yes, it." Oh yes, thanks, Mr. Fix. See, I, I I noticed this pattern before, and I was like, "I'm gonna milk this." Yeah. Uh, no, it's not gonna work. I it's more of a was, I thought I was clever, and I wasn't. Oh, it didn't. No, it, oh. they didn't. He decided not. Now there's a new pattern. Oh. With the mothership, it's more of like a race against time. You versus him, because your colonies are depleting. Actually, your colonies... Oh, you get them back each time. Okay. After each wave, your colonies build up again. It's more to do with your time. But on the oh, mothership, man, it doesn't show it. It's hard. That's a good tactic, too. Just kind of... Just trying to, like, find, like, the spot with these guys. And time it, right, with your shot. Yeah, I'm just close. Oh. <laughs> Bam! Ah! Oh. Oh. A little too late. This is rough, man. Oh, your time is I'm running done. out, man. <gasps> Still got to get oh all three God, of I'm these guys. Though. Seven, six. Oh, one more. One come on, more. come one on. Second. Oh. Good run. Level oh, nine. Level nine's not terrible. Okay. I got to defeat the mothership now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then we can move on. But before that, nope, I got to do it. Oh, my God. Okay, that Good was... Good job. When... That, that, like, yeah, see that? Yeah, when you've got three ships, that's a huge advantage for, 
for getting the last guy. Because you, it's look at that onslaught that he has to go into. Yeah. Um. But I just no, yeah. Forget it. I'm just going for it. This is too much. When I got into that middle man, I, I just basically just unloaded on that ship. I think that's the only way to do it. I just used my shield and I just sat there and just yeah, you just got to do it. Did. There was no question because the bullets just keep coming through. The issue is it's a waste of it's like you you're 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 screwed on all levels <laughs> because yeah. like it's gonna kill your colony if you don't kill it. It's probably gonna kill you if you don't kill the colony, and you're gonna run out of time. So it's basically all you got to do is line up in the middle and unload and use that Come shield, on. and that's how you kill the mothership. That's my. It's my strategy so far. Yeah, because it's because I was thinking about it, and I'm like, that's the only way to do it. Because if you screw around at all, your colonies are dead. Three, if you seven. try to dodge it, it's gonna hit you. Yep, I'm almost there. With three ships, last one. Yeah, hang out in the middle. Yeah. It'll, it'll come out of right? and, you, and you'll need it anyways for. I still gotta dodge though. Yeah, dude. Okay, it's not as bad as we thought. You just got a hammer on it. You, you just, just got a whale going. on that guy, man. That's and, all and, you can and do. And use your shield. But I wasted all my two ships. That was the problem because I wasn't thinking, oh, his bullets can still get me. Well, I mean, it's pretty hard no matter what. <laughs> like, it is. Like, it, it, and this is hard now, too. Cause With you're, one ship? Yeah, like. It's impossible almost. Ugh. Come on. Come on. But we did it. Made it past the first, <laughs> yeah. first ship. How, how many levels are there? Uh, 18 or 16? 18. 18. Yeah. yeah. Also, I made it exactly halfway through. Did you make it to 8? Made it to 9. Oh, my God. Good job. Yeah, 19. 19 levels. 19 because levels. Because there's a boss. Yeah. Right, 18 plus boss. Wow. So that that's not bad, that game. That's a cool game. That it's took a while. Good shooter. Good simple me... shooter. And yeah. it's got two stages. It's nice when there's something to get to. Where it's a little different, and then you go back to the normal, and then there's a boss. Oh, yeah. the bosses are good. Definitely would be nice to get your, your little guys back. I think that would be the perfect like balancer. thing to add to this. Yeah. Um, is you'd get all three back. Because it gets it's pretty it hard, gets man. It's brutal. I don't so even... let's just see the, the thing. Oh, it's a wide. Oh, you get one and it's wide? That's terrible. This is super bad. Oh, oh. This is the worst. Oh my I thought it was just a small one, but now your ship is double the size. Oh my god. Okay. And you don't have to play it for long, but because this is this is brutal. Level nine, level seven. Yeah, I guess there's no score in this. It's just levels. That's right. So uh, yeah, Arena Foot, our scorekeeper. Thank you very much. Um, should probably put. You know what? If if you could, Arena Foot, if you'd like to do it. You're voluntarily uh, doing the scorekeeping. If you could put the initial of the person, like A, J, T for Tanya, D for Darcy, oh. so that when we look back, it'll be much easier to find. Um, but you don't have to, because <laughs> it's voluntary. Um, but that would be super, Whoa. super awesome. Yeah, dude, I couldn't even make it past like level. <laughs> you level made the first level. level. You made two. it to level two. That's pretty rough. That is tough. So let's go on to the sequel. Yeah, let's see what this sequel's all about. Let's see what somebody's, revenge. Somebody's to taking be. revenge. I think it's us, because that's hard. Dude, Arena Foot's already on it. He's like level yes. nine. Good job. So let's go back. Oh, the, the things have changed. The um the Bones? scores have changed. Twenty and twenty and twenty. Other, other. Somebody voted for other. That makes sense. Yep. I mean, other is a is a pretty big anything. category. <laughs> it is. It is. Middle button. Got it. Atari, Atari box. box. Atari box. So let me change the graphic, and we're gonna be playing Alien Revenge with his, Bam. which is done by the same author. Uh, which one? The top one? Yeah, the bin. Yeah. Cool. So this is also made. Whoa! By uh, very different, huh? Should I just see what happens if I hit go? Go for it. What is <laughs> happening? <laughs> What is going on? Hold on, hold on. So I'm like this middle guy. Can I move? Nothing. I don't oh, know. Oh, I had a lot of write-up. What the hell? For the Dude, last one. I don't know what's going on. I do some shooting stuff. Anyway, we figured time. all that out. And that last game was released uh, through Good Deal what Games. Is April 2018. 
Um, and what is going on? And he also released it Midwest Gaming Classic in April of 2018. And he hopes people will purchase one, even though he had made the ROM available, which is very nice. What is going on, James? <laughs> we'll find out right now. In Alien Revenge... Oh, we have it on the hard setting, I think. Um, in Alien Revenge, the game is pretty easy in the default settings. So adjusting TV and difficulty... Uh, difficulty and TV type might make it more, make it more challenging. Um, so he posted originally about this on June 30th, 2018. <laughs> I don't think you can move. You're like the, um, like the, uh, Death Star in, um, uh, Star Wars. That's right. The, oh, dude, because I right am, the I'm the mothership now. Yeah, you're the mothership. So it is, you're, you are the alien having the revenge? I'm destroying the humans. The sequel. Yes. All humans. Uh, yes. the idea for, is for a game which allows paddles or joysticks, this would be my sequel to my other game, Alien Attack. The basic setup is that your cannon rotates around a central base or power supply, which must be defended against enemy bombardment. There are six rows of enemies, whose number, less than three, spacing and direction, and speed are variable each wave. Thinking a mini kernel for each scorer, each enemy row, player section, wave timer. The enemies fire at your power supply. You can knock out the enemies and enemy missiles. If a paddle... He didn't do paddle, so I'm going to talk about that. If your joystick, uh, the button fires. Uh, assembling in Stella, would also like to keep it 4K. Would like to learn a uh, six-digit score, which he did not do. Um, blah, da, 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 da. So let's get on to the instructions so you know what the hell is going on. I think I'm like sort Kinda of getting it. I'm getting some. Looks like you're defeating some of them. I got up to like level something. I got up to like level seven or something. <laughs> I don't know. Like I'm kind of just. Like, just winging it? Yeah. <laughs> doing it. Just doing whatever. Shooting everywhere. This is a sequel to Alien Attack. The aliens are back, and this time they're pissed. Well, see, in this situation, I appear to have uh, defeated them, but now I'm back at the beginning. Uh, new wave, I guess. But it... Since the last attack, you've constructed a planetary shield. Defense. But they have discovered the orbiting power station that controls your planet shield. What? You control the power station's lasers that will defend the station. You can fire in eight directions with the joystick. In so eight up, direct? down, Whoa. left, right, and all the oh my God. northwest, okay. southwest. I thought I could just do like down. So, okay. no, you're more than that. There you go. Now you're getting it. One guy left. Now you did it. Um, once again, time is important. You must defeat each wave within 40 or 25 seconds, depending on which difficulty. We're in the easy difficulty. Because your station must recharge its power supply. Also, your station cannot withstand more than 10 hits per wave. Uh, defend the station by destroying the aliens. You can also shoot the alien missiles. You have a shield which can be activated every four seconds by pressing the button. What? I don't know what button, but. Like that without a direction, cool. I guess? Let's try it without a direction. Oh, I gotta kill this guy. I'm so close. Oh. Oh. Okay. Can you? Oh, there's your shield. Okay. That was without movement? Um, without a direction. That's that's a good question. I'm trying not to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You have unlimited shots, but, but placing the TV type switch to be black and white black and white limits the shots to 40 per wave. Let's not get into Whoa. the hard stuff yet. <laughs> now that would be rough. I'm just going to say go. that much. Oh, it gives you the shield when you start a new wave, it looks like, because that's fair. Shields up, now it's down. Um, you have two. Oh, you have two shields per wave, and cannot fire while the shield is on. Oh, what? I guess hey. against the missiles, you want to use it. Um, if you can survive 99 waves, you have defeated the attackers. <laughs> 99 waves. Yeah, they have a lot of, uh, uh, lot of guys to throw. I mean, at it you, makes right? sense. I mean, it's not. It's just like a single screen game, so yeah. we can. It's are just the same thing over and over and over. And yeah, it does put on your shield when you start a new level. I bet you can hold down the button. No, that's your second. Oh, I can, I can hold down the Thank you. That's too. a lot quieter. Well, wow, that's way better. Because <laughs> it less, shoots really fast. Well, there's less right? energy. Oh, no, that noise is terrible. That's a terrible noise. 
That's the strategic. Well, missile's coming for you. Oh, you got it. Well, that's you're doing a lot better now with the button button press down. Also, oh, yeah. so many missiles are coming at you. Like, how do you even get a chance to even defend? Like, shoot the enemy when there's so many missiles coming. It's pretty pretty hectic game. Yeah, it's pretty rough, man. So you can withstand. 10 hits. Okay, so where are the hits? I think Hit they're counter. the top um, the top right, right is Okay, opinion. reset to zero. Okay. And the top left is your... And the bottom right is counter. like the waves that I'm on. Yeah, wave six. And the bottom left is your shields, which you used up immediately on this wave. Yeah, that's well, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I guess with the auto fire on, it's easier to accidentally use your shield up. Because if you go to the center at all your shields go on. So you have to constantly like kind of rotate around if you're going to do the other. Oh, there you go. Wave seven. Oof. Use one of your shields already. It's hard. <laughs> and there goes the next one. Oh, but you defended yourself against one. Three. Dan, Dan AVC says, pretty cool. This is, this is. It's quite, quite the visual display going intense, on. That's for man. sure. A lot of things you have to look at. It's like it's like when you first start driving. Everything. You're looking at everything. Everything's it's like crazy. crazy. But then, after you get used to it, you're like, okay, I understand. That's there. That's there. I don't need to watch that. Two, one, game over. Okay, I made it to eight. Was eight? that right? Seven or eight? Was that, what, where, was, where was I at? Do you, <sighs> does anyone remember? I think it was, I think it was eight. Oh my god, some of these missiles are impossible to hit. There goes one of my shields. Some of these missiles, like, they're just at the right angle that, that you can't get them. Level 7. Cool, Level thanks. Level 7. Good thanks stuff. Thanks, that. To the side, you have two shots, but just down and up is just one shot. That's right. And diagonal is really powerful, because if you think about that, that definitely, there's a lot of options. That's true. It seems like it's going through things. How come I'm not, like... Kill it! Kill it! How did... How am I supposed to defend myself against that thing? There we go. Oh, did I die? Yeah, yeah. I did. <sighs> Terrible. Did I run out of time? Yeah. yeah, the beeping from like from the first game is the same. Yeah, it's tricky, man. It is. It took me a little while to sort of get a get a get a sense of it actually. Is zero how many shields I've left? Am I no, dead? No, zero oh, is how many hits you've taken. It counts up. I think it should count down. That'd be better. Because then you have to memorize, oh, I have 10 shields. Am I playing the hard game? Oh my god! Oh, I made it. Okay, you're good. You're level, level, two. level two. Good. Yeah, see? Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, the diagonals are really the diagonal's good. diagonal's powerful, right? Because it can, it can, the potential for hitting is, is very high. Way better. And it's actually a bit faster. Ah, uh, yes it is. Because it it's like, it's like, um, uh, it's like physics, eh? <laughs> right? It's like a... Yeah, if you uh, it's wanna, just if, timing. If you want to go a farther distance, faster, diagonal. Do you diagonal. If the thing you're getting to isn't a diagonal. Yeah. <laughs> and it's also with all, the, with all the converging that's happening. Ah! Oh, I got it. Ooh, just in time. Yeah, just sneak by. And they reverse direction, too. I think I like the first game better. This one's really weird. It's chaotic. a weird game, and there's lots of stuff happening, and there's like this weird jagged thing on the left. Like, it's <laughs> a lot of stuff going on. But I did get to level seven, so you that did. Was fun. So you're like, yeah, you know, that was fun. I got this game. But the issue is, is I don't think I would push to ninety nine. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. <laughs> you don't have the incentive to go to ninety. Yeah, there's a lot of other stuff I'd do before I would push to ninety nine in this game, which is not to say that's a bad thing. Or a good thing. Yeah, I can't shoot that missile. It's coming from. Yeah, it was coming from you me gotta straight. Just from focus on killing these guys. That's what I found. Honestly, There's no point. And then in the same time, you'll end up defending some some missiles too. Yeah, just coincidentally. Yeah. But yeah, I, I'm not even paying attention to the missiles. It, they're like not even a point. Maybe now. There's lots of them. Oh my god. But I've only been hit once, so it seems to be pretty, pretty good. Yeah. With, with coincidentally. Like, see? And also, if you think about guys. it, if you kill a bunch of people fast, that's less missiles firing at you, right? That's true. 
So it's fish. like, you know, so if you can just knock out a bunch of people and then it's the odds of them per hitting you, so it's like, I think first go is just nail people. <laughs> But my my shots are definitely going through things. Sometimes. Oh yeah, it's a it's a glitchy thing. It is, and glitchy. these kind of characters that are here as well are. are... I think it's glitchy because it's and they're sort of shaky. It's doing too. multi. <laughs> it's very shaky. It's multiplexing some things so that sometimes your missiles are not turned on. Oh, and they're also going so fast that it's actually skipping across. Like, your missile's not at, at every single point on the screen. Yeah, but when you go you up, it though, it seems to be. Up, mostly. Oh, yeah, it's, it's skipping a lot. It's skipping a lot. It's anything in the middle, though. Like, it's like it seems like it appears on, like, the line. Yeah. But that's it. Ooh, <laughs> level A, man. All right. The, your the Revenge of James. That's right. This is my game. <laughs> It's all about the diagonals in this one. Oh my god, it's not getting it. Come on. Oh, bam, there we go. Bam. One more. <gasps> Come on. When it's down to one, you can kind of. Oh no. It's hard. Come on. You got this. You got this. You got this. Yes. Oh, just barely. <gasps> yep. Just kind of hold on one direction until you clear it out. Oh, I don't want the. Because I was holding in a direction, but my shield came on for some reason. Yeah, these shields, I, I still, I'm not even certain janky. how they turn on. Janky, no. indeed. <laughs> there we go. One more on the bottom. It's not, I don't find it. there's a lot of strategy. It's just like fire and forget. <laughs> and you hope to, there is a bit of strategy. Like you try and shoot it. Oh, I'm dead. There's no way I can get two of them in that amount of time. What was that? Nine? Ten? That was nine. That I... was nine. <sighs> I think we should move on. Yeah. I mean, I can I've, do another I... one if you want. No, but I, we I, did pretty good. We both got far. I don't have the desire to play I know. It again. The the first one's better, I think. I think so. The first Just like one's... movies, first one's better. The sequel, typically. yeah, they ran out of. Godfather Two is pretty yep. good. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. That's the only sequel. But it's a different movie. And it's. I've been watching reviews on Psycho. Yeah. I, I've only seen the first one. Um, but Psycho 2 is supposed to be really good. I haven't seen Psycho 2 on principle of... <laughs> no, it's supposed to be really it's good. To be cool. Like, almost as good. Some people think, like it better. Really? I gotta watch one. Psycho 2 then. Yeah. And Damn. 4 is interesting as well. People seem to like 4. So we're gonna move on to the third game, which is a two-player game. Oh, that's right. So let me get my... Did you ever see the Vince Vaughn <laughs> Psycho? Uh, no, I definitely skipped that one. I can't, I can't recommend it. It's pretty dopey. But it's, it's... <laughs> shot for shot, perfect remake of the first Psycho. Yeah, it's a weird, it's like a weird fan film by like a really good director. Okay, press button. Gus Van Zandt? No. What is it? The Gus Van Zandt. Is... Oh, okay. So we're going to go to Monkey King. Oh, he does add one thing, but I won't say it on stream. Oh, to the movie? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Don't. It's not. It's I, not a good thing to add. <laughs> it's not a good. I probably will you can never probably watch it. Probably imagine what I'm saying by saying that, but yeah, it's it's pretty. It's okay. Pretty, pretty bad. Like nudity. No. <laughs> Instead of it. okay. Uh, Monkey King Final by Cool Crab, aka Alex Pietro. Wow, Pietro. this looks slick, man. Yeah, he's he's changed the graphics a little bit. Make the graphics sleeker. The score at the bottom's a little bit sleeker, right? Oh, people can't see it. You probably want to see it. Yeah. Oh, let me change the graphics to the monkey king. Yes. Well. Messed up on that. There it is. There's the monkey king. Boom. Okay. So, um, this game will be released after the show. So, everybody wants to get the final version of Monkey King. Um, he may or may not be able to make it to the show. Rain of foot. Says we are both credited in the game manual for Monkey King. Oh, that's nice of him. Arena Foot and, and, and you? me? What about Airline? He played it too. No, that's okay. I don't <laughs> mind. I don't need anything. No, that's great. That's really nice when you can contribute to the game and, and help the programmer along by even testing it. You know, yeah, just playing yeah. it and giving feedback. It's really, really nice. Um, so there's a new power up, and we will get to it. Um, so the instructions, left difficulty A, play against AI, single player. 
Um, left difficulty B, which we're on, multiplayer. Good. Right difficulty A, keep going. The game does not stop when one of the two players dies. Ideal for who wants to get a high score. Yeah. Um, but we won't do that. We'll we'll stop it because we we're gonna compete yeah, against each other. Yeah, that's that's the unsocial version. My yeah. sister, when she plays Mario with me, yeah, it's like that's how it goes. Like we'll play. I'll die on like level one, and, and then I'll die playing. on like level, and then I'll be like, I'll play for like maybe thirty seconds, <laughs> and then she'll play for like thirty minutes, and then she'll be like, okay, so it's your turn. I'm like, let's <laughs> not even worry. Oh, I just... supposed to helped with the screen jumps. Awesome. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's always good. James to get... and I'm in the th thing. <gasps> really? No, oh. is Mister Fix. At, um, does he know that? No, he, he may doesn't. not know that. Um, actually, I have the manual, so we can, can take we... a look. Oh, that's... in one second. Let me okay. just finish reading off the instructions, so we can. Oh, uh, where is it? I've got. Thanks so for many helping notes. with screen jumps. I suppose. Yeah, cool, those man. are those are terrible to have screen jumps. Uh, Monkey King, uh, right difficulty B, deathmatch, co-op, which we want. Game ends when one of the two player dies. Because then we want to start it over. We don't yeah, want to yeah. keep, keep playing with one person. Destroy your enemy or work together to get as far as possible. Dude, oh. we put that, I feel like we had some influence over there. Yeah, on that option? I think so. Start the game by pressing the reset button. Um, you can go up, down, left, right, avoid the branches and falling coconuts. Press the fire to use your magic stones. That hasn't changed. So there's five magical stone effects now. Yes. Each one having its own icon. One stone slows down time for both monkeys. Perfect. So it slows down, which is good because it gets fast. The scrolling slows. I hope you, James, you come to the Midwest Classic. If you do, I'll be there to be sure to meet you. Uh, I probably won't be going to... When is that? Actually, you can just let me know and where it is. Because I've not been there. It's in the Midwest, James. Oh, Midwest. <laughs> which may not be too bad because I'm in the West. Yeah, for sure. And I'm going to Portland, which is kind of mid. Hell it's two yeah, states man. down. So it might be one over. Depends what they define as West. Well, so there's a lot of know, states. Mr. Fix and... Yeah, and when it is. Um, I'm, I'm doing a lot of traveling this year because of my film. Um, I went to uh, Miami and I'm going to be going down to Mexico in th four weeks. So a lot of money's going towards that, but if it's uh, if it's good for a good cause, like meeting Mister Fix, that's right. Maybe I love game conventions and expos, especially ones that have uh, retro games. Um, so one stone, slow down time. Two stones, remove all branches above and below you. Not okay. that below you concerns too much, but it kind of just clears it out. Um, three stones give you back a life. That's a good one. Um, four stones can be used to ma briefly make the opponent invisible. Yeah, I've done that one That's many times. That's a deadly one. Deadly. Five stones, this is a new one, uh, gives you the... Oh, no, that... What? That's old news. Okay, I'm going to read from the actual manual um, because that is some old instructions. Oh, no. And he says it's in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I don't know where that is. That's one of the states I don't know. I know the West Coast, and I know a little bit of the East Coast, and I know the South a bit. Uh, I don't know any of the, like the big thing in the middle of that. Uh, Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Isn't that where Red Letter Media That's is? That's right. That is. Oh, maybe I'll go meet them. You should, I'll Go man. on the show. I'll be the second James from Canada, because they already right. have a James from they Canada. They already have a James from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Milwaukee. How close is that to Ottawa? And Toronto, that area, I think it's, or is it? Well, you said Midwest, right? So that's probably more like. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Um. Yes. Here it is. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six ones now. <laughs> so the fifth one is add a branch to opponent's side of the tree, which is not good for them. Yeah. Um. And the sixth one is you become invincible, for a little while. Damn. So you just go rocket through things, pick up the. The power-ups, that's that's some good stuff. That's a smart one. So let's take a look at who got thanked. Oh, well, I didn't really get thanked. We got thanked. Zero-page homebrew? Zero-page homebrew. So that's smart, though. That's that inclusive. Is. That's really good. That's a really good way to put it. Because then it thanks everybody on the show. Like if Tanya was playing it one day. That's right. Because I think she did as well. And it also is good, good like, you know, statement. Is that That's the right. first thanks to Zero Page no. Homebrew? On oh, the... no. Uh, no. Zero Page? That's right. Mm, it's not the first shout-out. No, it's not the first thanks. Okay, okay. Brian Mathern 
Arena Foot did that in his book. But but on a game. On a game, I am thanked. But I mean, zero page. I'm <laughs> trying, zero I'm page trying to, I'm trying to find it down. first, man. Yes, I'm trying to make this a first. It is. It is. <laughs> it is a first in a game that Zero Page Homebrew has been thanked. So yes. So that is a first. So thank you very much. Um, Albert. Mr. Fix says you gave him Ghostbusters and he spent many days and nights on that one. I gave you Ghostbusters? Sounds like a disease. I'm sorry, man. No, that's a game. That must <laughs> I know be a it's game. a game. <laughs> I know it's a game. I didn't. Did I get? I what? I, I think he means you introduced him to, to Ghostbusters. I I may have mentioned it once, but I definitely did not play it on the show oh, <laughs> because okay. it's not a homebrew. But that's awesome! Yay! I I think you might be thinking of somebody else though. It, like it sounds like I physically gave him Ghostbusters. <laughs> cool. I don't know. Um, that's awesome. Great! Yay! Let's celebrate. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so the people that are thanked, Albert, Arena Foot, um, Casper and Leva, Pietro, uh, Pietro. that's like his last name, must be a different Pietro, uh, Zero Page Homebrew, Fluxit, Impaler26, who is, I, I know that name too, um, Stan Jr. and Steve Hammond, um, Box and Cartridge Graphics, Steve Hammond, uh, and made possible with advice by Bozak. Bogax, Bogax, Carl G, Lewis two nine zero seven, Random Terrain, Revenge, Thomas Yentz, and Zach Attack. Oh, dude, dude, he's talking about Dan. Dan. There oh, we go. He doesn't want to meet me. This no, okay. This is, makes so much more sense. <laughs> yeah. See, there you go. He doesn't want to. We meet. think it's all about us here. We're That's really right. Anything you guys say, we're pretty self-centered, <laughs> so egotistical, <laughs> solipsistic people here. <laughs> Everything's about us. It must be. How how dare you refer to <laughs> no, Don't talk to each other. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, so let's get to it. Uh anything else? Do, 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 do. Nope. So he doesn't have a release date or yet where it will be sold. So he's still working on that because I think his other game is still coming out and i can't remember what his other game is who am i okay i'm the right ready go i'll give you the first one because i started the game okay oh i look away and you get it oh that coconut's pretty hard to see i'm going for invincibility right away whoa i think i need two more that's branches did you get it you... good luck yeah, no, no <laughs> not gonna happen and the good thing is that we both get the exact... Oh, my God. <laughs> <sighs> and I lose everything. Of course. I'm sorry. It's, but it's the game. Uh, uh, <laughs> that was a critical... Uh, that was a critical choice I made. It there. was. To go for that. Oh, my God. Failing at life. Oh, no. I'm failing, too, man. <laughs> Well, this is a hard game because you think you're doing well, and then you just get trounced all of a sudden. Because you. you can, you get bam, bam, bam. Because those coconuts just come out of nowhere. Yes. Well, that didn't help me at all. Ah, ah. Because you want to stick near the top for the power up, but if you do, the That's coconut right. will be there. That's pretty cheaty, I know. Keep pressing. Oh my. What's happening? <laughs> yeah, slow it down. Whoa. Did you take on that coconut? I just took it straight on. <laughs> good. And that's good because it disappears for both of us if somebody takes the coconut. That's cool. Yes. I like that design a lot. Oh man. What did I just do? Slow down? Yeah, I think I did. Oh. Was it worth it? Not at all. It was not worth it, even a little bit. Oh. Oh, oh I just got wasted by this coconut. <laughs> you did? See? Oh, I kept it. <gasps> Heart for me. Oh, you did it? Good oh, work. yeah. Those are tough. Oof. Give myself some life. More life for me. Oh god, I needed oh. that life or I was done. <laughs> Whoa. Oh no. Oh, I did get it. <gasps> Damn it. 
227 for you. Oh no, you got, what are those? 134 is yours, 227 is mine. So I lost, but got a higher score. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, what was that noise? That? Something happened. <laughs> We're off to the races. The starting gun is gone. Oh god, it wasn't uh, worth it. It wasn't worth it. Nope. Sometimes I was Icarus. Yeah, flew too close to the branch. I got my left back though. Oh, did you? Oh, I got it. Whoa, Whoa I just yeah. face first Sacrifice into a coconut. Oh, I hit a branch right after that. Whoa. Ooh, did you do the slowdown? Yeah, I did. Thank you. Because I was like, I, I thought we were screwed. Yeah. We're getting there. Oh, <gasps> there we go. Rip. One, three, four, one, two, one. So you, you beat. Uh, well, I oh, think that I. The winner is the red? Because you were red last time. That's weird. Oh, we both have red. Who scores who? That's very confusing. Oh, uh, still there. <laughs> yeah, you. Oh, that's a way to do it, but you lose Whoa, life. I just dodge that coconut. Like, wait. Ah! Oh, you got it. Well, oh, oh God, yes, face thank first you. into that coconut. <laughs> health is good. I like the phrasing, get back your health. Oh, my God. Yeah, get back your health. Yeah, it's because I remember I tried I tried to stock up at one point. And it <laughs> Ooh, you oh, you got it. But you lost it. I did. Bam. Oh. Double kill? No. No, that's me. I'm oh, flatline. Oh, that's cool. That's it is very a bug. Cool. That is a bug, though. I don't think it's supposed to be there. Oh, you pressed the button. I'm sorry. I had a head start. But I got it. Ooh. Oh. oh, you got it. Oh, my God. Oh, what? Bam. Bam. Those coconuts are... Oh, my God. I need to be a back, 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 back. Oh. oh. <laughs> I can't believe I survived oh, that. Oh, that was good. It just happened to have a long string of no branches and then right at the last for second. Better time. Oh. Wow. I don't deserve to win this one. <laughs> if I win this one, there's... I'm going to keep it fast for you. You did invisibility. Damn it. Whoa. These coconuts are getting intense. It's <laughs> a lot of coconuts. Ooh. One person needs to make oh. a mistake, and that person was me. Flatline. Kind of cool, it kind of works. Ready? Yeah, go. Go. Oh, both missed it. Come on. Oh, I got it. Yeah. I'm use it to slow it down. I thought it wasn't worth it. I was like, I'll just like this. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh, I just hit it like for no reason. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what did you hit? I was just uh, I was looking at your screen. <laughs> well, it's not a good strategy. It's no. exactly the same as yours. Nobody recommends that. Oh, those are hard to get. Those ones that are right up against the branches. Whoa, you're doing well. And no, you have all your lives, so I wouldn't say I'm doing well. I'm gonna Whoa. take one back. Well, I lost it immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that long string. Uh, Didn't do a thing. Be... Wasted it all. I should have been smarter. Ooh, some dodging going on here. Oh my god, oh. this is insanity. Oh my god, I just need a heart. I need a heart, I need a heart. There we go. Whoa, You okay. took that, eh? I did, like an idiot. I was like, oh, I just got a heart, so I'm I'll still in the down. game. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, Mr. Fix. I don't think I ever met you, Mr. Fix. I don't recall giving you a game. <laughs> <laughs> we got so much discussion about this thing, it's okay. I think, I think Mr. Fix dreamt it. Um, have you ever... I'm sure you've had hobbies where you've dreamt about your hobby or filming oh, yeah. or something. Once in a while, I'll probably have this dream again after going to the, the expo, is that it's a reoccurring dream. I'm, I'm sure I've had it like 10 or more times. Let me just get that noise off the screen. Um, where I'm dreaming that I'm in a video game store or at an expo or at a flea market or something. And that I run across a bin of games yeah. that are like I've never heard of before that are super rare and they're all like a dollar 
and I buy them all up. And it's, it's like, awesome. oh, it's, it's so like, awesome. It's just like... The best dream ever. <laughs> and then you wake up and you're like, oh, no. I'm and in Canada. No. Damn it. <laughs> I'm in Canada where there's resellers and they go to all the flea markets and buy all the games up before I can even get there. So all they do is have their stands and they mark up all the prices. Grrr! Oh, dodged it, and got a power pellet. What are we picking up? They're stones, right? They're stones, I oh, believe. Oh, I can't is, use it. I believe is he the prevents idea. you from using it when you have full health. Now. Oh, that's good. Thanks, man. Yeah, that's a good, so you don't It's a really good program feature. This game has evolved a lot. I like this game. Whoa, I'm, I'm done. Oh, yeah, you're crushing. It doesn't last for long, but it does help a little bit. You had your moment in the sun, though. Damn it. I got the heart, Whoa. and then Whoa. got hit. <laughs> Paying no attention to me and Mr. Fix law. Yeah, it changed O Canada to High Canada. October 17th is correct, yeah, Arena Foot. It's our new national holiday. Oh, that was a short game for you. Were you not paying attention at all? I was, I was, you were reading. I was reading about High Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I think the best ones, really, when you're playing two-player, are in making the other guy invisible. Whoa, okay, I got like... And the heart. Oh, I, t I thought I turned invis invincible, but I totally didn't. I think it's a bug. It made the sound. Yeah, but I kind of got blasted by a thing, like, immediately. You still should have been yeah, invincible. it didn't do anything. It made the sound. What Weird. this do? Might be a bug. Oh. It throws a branch in my face is <laughs> okay. what it does. It's like, smack! Ugh. Oh, High smack. price Canada. Uh, yeah, some things are. Houses. <laughs> Houses are very high priced. At least in Vancouver. I recommend not taking bread. That's right, Gretams. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts, personally. And for the monkey. You don't want to hurt the monkey. Don't, Leave the monkey don't, alone. Don't hurt the monkey. Oh, that was a terrible death. <sighs> this is a this is a fun two player game. This is my favorite it two is. player game of all the homebrews we played. Really? I think so. Oh, what was that? There was a homebrew we played on Friday. Oh my god, it was good. For two was, players. Was it a two player? It's like um, a single screen maze. And you, it's kind of the same thing. You go around collecting little little dots, and you have to get four of them. And it's uh, anti-gravity. Thanks. <laughs> anti-gravity, so you can walk uh, upside down or right side up. Ah, oh, you went for it. It was actually the coconut that killed me. Oh, you got that one. But, oh, whoa. damn it. Oh, you took... Whoa, oh, I was doing very well, and then I just took two coconuts. <laughs> That's I love the coconuts for that factor, though. It's yes. very cool, right? I think I'm doing so well, all of a sudden, coconuts. Without the coconut, this game wouldn't be this game. See, again, coconut. See, I'm trying to stay lower than you, because you always, you're always always going for those coconuts. I'm going for the, for the kill. Oh, that first one's fun. It's like a race. <laughs> and it's whoever presses the button. It's, it's kind of unfair... You know what they sh what he should do is I know this is final, but oh thanks. <laughs> You're totally fine. You should have a pause, like a three, two, one countdown or something. Because oh, it's whoever presses the button kind of gets to the first one first. Oh, I would have died either way. There was no room. The coconut is a little hard to see. It is, but that's okay. But it's fine, you know. I don't know why the coconut is so it's flickery. Cool. It's like offensive and defensive too. Like you know. Yeah, you defensive. can hang back and play defensive. And then, Ugh. I just I I all I did was I just went like health 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 health. <laughs> Kept getting hit, uh, so I would have died in that one if I hadn't have gotten all those healths. Because that's what I meant. The offensive okay. or defensive. I was like this that's time. True. This time I got hit a couple times, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna just. But if you hang back 
and play defensively. Well, I mean, I mean, basically, like, just, like, oh, build give, up. give myself full health whenever I go down. Or I could try to save up and hurt you, right? Oh, I see. Okay. In that, in that way. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, see, I got, like, coconutted, right? <laughs> Which is Coconuts rough. Are but see, like health, so... bam. So now I got four. Right. So it's like now you can play offensively. Now that you're up to four. Exactly. Which I don't want you to do. But... <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Oh, I missed it. I really need health, but you're not gonna let me have it. Oh, it's too fast. Too fast for the oh flat Ooh, line. That was that was close. This game is funny. Love it. Okay. Yeah, it's a cool game, man. It's a very cool game. Now you're gonna go against the computer. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> computer. Computer is. That's how we're doing it. Computer is perfect, by the way. But he does hang back at a certain point. Let me read out what he did. Like he can go blip and pick one up immediately. Okay, I'm feeling like the branch is the only way to get this guy. The AI stops actively collecting power-ups when it's on full health and has a heart. So he has a heart and is on full health. So he'll just not even go for it. He'll just hang back and avoid branches. Um, give you a moment to breathe. It stays halfway up to make it a bit harder for you. Um, do you think it should chase after the points always? Um, uh, was there an easy or hard setting? That would be good if there would be. He says he only has two. He said that would give him a bite or two. Yeah, I think that would be too hard. Fucking... Wow. <laughs> yeah, I, on... just, I was doing really well and then I just died. Like He's on full health still. Yeah. He, I don't think... It, look at him. He's right up against a branch. He plays perfectly. Look at this. So the only way I think you can hurt him is to, like, be offensive. Yeah. I mean, I... <laughs> <sighs> and, like, turn him invisible. Yeah, well, or... even then, okay, he got hurt, but... Oh, now he's going to go for it, though. He's going to play perfectly. See him? Blip! Yeah, and then I'm like, what's the... Let's see. What's the chance? Mr. Fix says this game is funny. It is kind of weird. Did I get it? I finally got it. You have to stay right up to the top to get it. But you can get it. Yeah, I bet you, you could beat this guy. It would just take some time. That's for sure. Now I've got a heart. You need... Ah! You turn him invisible. Oh, he got hit. Oh, he can't dodge the... Oh, he can't dodge the coconut. Actually, I'm going to slow it down. Because... He'll never slow it down. And that's only to my advantage. Yeah, because he's a computer. Yeah, he plays perfectly. Wow. Doing better than me. That's hard. But he doesn't attack me. So far, he has not attacked me. With that's anything. cool. It's more like, how can you kill this guy, right? Yeah. He's just... He's just trying to stay Yeah, it's alive. crazy. you got to play A perfectly and B <laughs> get a ton of power-ups and... I just need a heart now. Oh, oh, it's so hard. Yeah, there's a little bit of a sound bug there. Because the game kind of pauses and doesn't turn off the sound. Whatever that sound is. So now he's going to hang back. Because he has a heart. Oh, I can't use the heart yet. So what does that do? That um, makes this turns him invisible? Yeah. Oh, that, oh, that worked him. nicely. He can't, he can't defend against that. So that's something that I can use. Get another one. And use it. Yep. Got him. Damn it. All you gotta do is kill him. Yes! <gasps> How did he die? Oh, he's just an idiot. <laughs> he just, he tried, he went for it. Okay, oh, so he's not perfect. Not perfect, okay. So there are some strategies. What, he's already. Get. How is that possible? What is his problem? What is he doing? <laughs> What's happening? Why is he so dumb all of a sudden? <laughs> Really weird. He like smacked himself. Don't let him get ahead. Ugh. You gotta stay right at the top. Damn it. Oh. He took a coconut. Oh, maybe he was taking coconuts. Yeah, there's always the coconut factor. Have that one. Damn it. 
probably healed. Rough. <laughs> One more, then we'll move on. See if I have any other notes to say about this game. Whoa, it is coming out uh, since it's done. It's probably going to do a couple more fixes after he watches this, maybe. Because there's that sound fix to do. Like, yeah, the only thing I would recommend is the last tiny little note, but it yeah. would just be to uh, change the color of the coconuts so it stands out a bit more from the... Because it's a bit hard for me to see it. Yeah, make it a darker color. Yeah, maybe? a darker one, or you could make it... Um, It's tough because you made the monkeys magenta. <laughs> magenta um, monkeys. Yeah, which is cool because that stands out really well from green. Yeah, it does. The colors are really contrasty. So that's... Um, But the coconuts colors are, are not... So that's the only thing I would say. Yeah, you just see, so... like, it was really hard for me to see that. Yeah, they're so light. Because on um, a lot of games now, homebrew games, where there has to be flicker, what they do is darken it so that it, it appears darker when it's even though it's still flashing. Uh, any other notes? No, that's about it. He was just asking about whether the monkey should run up. Ah, oh. I think it's pretty good. Like oh. I was able to defeat him. You just have to use a, a different strategy. And than, get a little bit lucky too. Yeah, and get lucky. You just have to use a different strategy than you do on a human. Arena Foot have requested white coconuts. Mm. I don't know if that would be darker or not. Whatever makes them darker, they're yeah, just a see, little light. Yeah, that's pretty hard to see. Something that would be very obvious because that's the only thing. Yeah. Everything else is oh. They are hard. I've run into them and not even seen them. But you should be able Most to see them. Most of the them. time, I, I, I struggle to see them. Like, see that? Yeah. Like, that's very tricky. And I'm not even sure why they're so flickery. Because they're not at the same line as the monkeys. They should be no flicker. You should be able to... Oh, no, he uses... He doesn't use a player. He uses, like, a missile or something. That's why. It's like the same thing as something else. Oh. <laughs> uh, two more... No more. <laughs> oh, oh, suicide mission. Okay. We're going to move on to Mr. Zippy. Cool. I think. <laughs> yeah. Mr. So Zippy. Let's go. And the polls are closed. And it was a three way tie between Atari 2600, 5200, and Other. Ooh. I wonder what the Other was. I do Did anybody post one. what Other? The people that voted for Other? What game system? Because I covered the big ones of the early stuff. Um. So, this one I actually have on cartridge. Sippy the porcupine. Get the power gems before it's too late. Back before it's too late. Um, now, I'm going to give you a disclaimer. Oh, okay. I have never played another game. <laughs> I was, I, I actually, That's not a porcupine. It's the same for me. You've never played the other one? I mean, one? I played it at Friends, but not, like, seriously. Okay. Ever. I always looked at it and went... That, I can't even follow what's going That's on crazy, on the screen. Yeah. It's like you run it around, you hit something, and you lose all your power, and then you die. And I'm like, well, yeah, why would I want to play about that? my experience as well. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm totally bending this. Oh, I hate these cases, but they all keep them, you know, like they made them in the old in the '80s. So they all make them all bendy. There, it's so hard to open them nicely without destroying them. There we go, Missed. Zippy the Porcupine. Oh, wow. Get out the instructions as well. And this is still for sale in the Atari Age store. There we go, Zippy the Porcupine. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And there's the cover. There we go. And there's the back. And they've even done the top to look like uh, kind of a Sega style, the Atari 2600. Okay, let's pop that in. Turn off the, the pole here. Cool. So I can, oh, turn off the graphic. There we go. Okay. So, Zippy the Porcupine. And there is actually... <laughs> Arena's like other equals Vectrex. Other... Oh, Vectrex. oh, I should have put Vectrex. I didn't even think about that. Um, program, graphics, manual, and artwork by Chris Spry. So let's turn it on and get that going. I'll 
Oh, I need to change the game. Nope. That's a cool tile. The monkey one? The monkey one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Monkey King one is awesome. I gotta oh, hold this down. I'm going to put in the Atari box again, just in case this does support it, but I'm not sure it does. Atari box. Uh, hey, don't on. press the button. Mm. We have to watch titles and stuff. Oh, I'm not supposed to. Okay, oh, sorry. Right. There you go. Uh, Atari oh. box. Oh, because you don't have the thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need that. That's just for the menu of that. Okay, That's cool. all it is. That's right. um, so very, very nice uh, title screen That's there. That's beautiful. Yep. Um, it did play some music there that uh, sounded very familiar. <laughs> yeah, some suspicious treading on, music. <laughs> treading on thin ice there. Oh. Yeah, that's... Zippy! Zippy! That's pretty familiar music. Yeah. <laughs> but there's actually another controversy. So this was made in, uh, put out in 2015 by Chris Spry, Sprybug. Um, and you can buy it. It's still available. Um... So let's get to the instructions. So you can press a button and get to it. And there's a familiar looking dude as well. Get up the sound a bit. Uh, special thanks to Fred Quimby, Random Terrain, Rev Engine, Albert at Atari Age. Yeah, oh, I suppose is in this. I suppose to. As one of the game testers. And Dan AVC as one of the game testers. Oh, play tested Zippy. Was to do even though it was on Stella. Whoa. Oh, a robot dude. Oh, this is really different. I've never actually played this off the cartridge. I've only played it on um, the version that is available Whoa. on the internet. Whoa. Oh, okay, thank God. Oh, and he didn't roll into it. Actually, I have no idea how to play the original game, so. This will be all new. Oh my god. So, game controls. Jump, action button, move left, left, move right, move right. Ball up, press down when moving. Okay, this is... That's how you can turn into a ball. Okay, this is not... <laughs> uh, ball out, press up to get out of ball mode. Oh, you're in the aqua zone. Um, spin charge, stand still, press and hold down, and hold down the action okay, button. Okay, that was not what we had. Whoa! Where did you go? Apparently there's bugs in the game still. Oh my god! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Dan, ABC, you didn't play test it hard enough. I supposed to? Shame on you. Zippy! Where? <laughs> Zippy. go left to right? No. You're stuck? This might be an R.I.P. moment. At the time we play tested, Harmony R Core wasn't available. I don't know. So you couldn't play test it on actual hardware. Okay. I have to restart it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna do better this time too. That was an embarrassing mistake. Spin release. Release the action button while in spin charge mode. How to start playing. Overworld map. Okay, there's different places. Oh. So maybe go to the top left. That's the hill zone. I'm gonna try some hills. Then cave, star, and aqua. Okay, so I think I jumped maybe into the deep the, end. I if think you so. Will. Oh, this music's familiar too. Oh! Oh, you missed it. Oh, more rings? They auto regenerate. Oh, come on. Just keep getting more and more rings. I think you have to roll into it. There you go. Yay. Oh, and then the other rings disappeared. Um. Let's read about this. One day on an airship. Whoa. Come on. Oh no, I got hurt. One, one day an airship came to visit Zippy's happy little peaceful land. Curious, Zippy took a peek inside, peek spelled wrong, and oh. was overwhelmed with all sorts of gadgets and things he had never seen before. After a long while of exploring, oh. Zippy found a nice place inside to take a nap. After his nap, he left the ship, but found he was in a whole other land. The ship must have taken off to this new place while he was sleeping. But before he could think of what to do to get back to his home, he noticed something exited, something exiting the ship, riding a smaller air vehicle. This mustached man looked strange oh, to him. Very good at this game. But his James. appearance was least of Zippy's worries, as he noticed that on the vehicle were five power gems from his home. He must have stolen them. Those gems can be dangerous in the wrong hands. Now it's up to Zippy to get them back and return them to the rightful place. 
Yeah, so that's real issues, IP. <laughs> 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 yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Poor Zippy. Poor Zippy. Doesn't want to be hauled into the courts. Um, I can't see I can't see at the title screen, press the joystick to begin. Oh, I had to get a crocodile card to play on real hardware. I suppose to says. So that I guess the crocodile was what it was developed on. I'm guessing for like the, the um, programmer. You have to do a proper. It's down in the button to do the spin. Oh, I see. Let's do it. Bam! <sighs> Maybe you can't just do it. Like, stop and then do it. Now do it. So not run and do it. Stop and do it. There you go. Hey! Yeah, I don't think you do it while running. Oh, oh. something there. disappeared when you came back to it. And when you're a ball, you can hurt them? There you go. This is one of the last games I would have ever thought would be ported to the Atari 2600. It's just so complicated. Yeah, it's... Oh my god, wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This uh, is not my game, friends. Uh, to enter a level, press the action button. Maybe we'll figure it out. I don't mean not my game in terms of it's not a good game. I mean, it's, I'm not very good at this game. We'll get there. We'll figure it out. To enter a level, press the action button on your controller. To move from one level to another, press the direction on your controller uh, to where you wish to go. You can only go from one spot to the next if you've completed a level. So you want to do the same first one? Okay. Uh, I oh, it, didn't, it didn't seem to... We'll see. Don't <laughs> let me... Yeah, that's interesting. Cave zone. Well, you're in a different one. Not dev on Croc. Harmony only runs up to 32k games. Harmony Encore wasn't out. Encore can do up to 512k. And that is definitely why I bought the Encore. So I can support any homebrew that people are making. Whoa, the land underneath you is disappearing. So I know in the other game, you get hit and all your coins, all your rings disappear, which they did. What? Where are you supposed to go? Oh, oh, that is where you're supposed to go. It's like, what? You just died. Run! I think you're mostly supposed to be a ball all the time, right? I think I think that's the general idea, but it's, it's not so easy. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Jump too early. Uh, oh, God, I'm not... <laughs> Cave zone, level one. 22, airline. <laughs> I don't... Oh. Is that the score? I guess the rings are your score? I think it must be. I'm just letting you know, platformers and me. <laughs> this is where my sister would crush. Uh, the bottom of the screen is your indicators. The left is how many lives you have. And the right is how many gems you have. Oh, gems. What? What? Oh, on the big screen. Ah, oh, oh, okay. I see. So lives on the left, gems on the right. You have zero gems, three lives. Okay. Once you've obtained all gems, then you've successfully beaten the game. Doing okay, that cool. and finishing all 16 levels will give you the special ending. Wow. Um, so once you're in, the lives are on the left, so you have three, and rings on the right. Each zone has four levels unique to their own zone, giving the game 16 levels total. Your goal in the level is to reach the end by flipping the end level sign. So you might have actually finished. So that's the end of that. Right? That level. Now you're yeah, the second so. level. I'm in the second bit. Because you flipped it and you went down. Oh, good job with that. So that's another flip, but it's not the full flip. I think that one's the end flip. <laughs> you're just going for it. I think you do have to. Oh, it's too late. Is it too late? Or you only see it passing that direction. Nope. You messed your chance. What are you supposed to do there? Probably the not die. Probably the opposite of what I did. Oh. <laughs> uh, once you do, you will return to the overworld map. It's amazing, though. That oh, they... so that wasn't the end. Oh, God. <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> Everybody, everybody's watching this. Okay, here. You can okay, continue okay, reading okay. from... We'll see how much better you are at Zippy. Each zone has four okay. levels I'm unique decent to decent at platformers, but this... Giving the game 16 levels. Your, your goal in the level is to reach the end by flipping the end level sign. Okay, you already uh, did yep. it be. Once you do... I have to wait for this animation. Yeah, you... Okay, so you're starting off at the start. In every level, there are enemies to pop or avoid. Most of the enemies can be popped by doing a spin attack into them. 
Okay. To do a spin attack, all you need to do is jump and zip you will ball up. <laughs> zip. Oh, okay, you can jump and ball, ball up. Okay. Making him able to pop most of his enemies. You can also achieve a spin attack by pressing down while running. Okay, yep, got that. You will stay in spin mode until you come to a standstill or press up on your controller. You can find out uh, which enemies you can't easily destroy later in the enemy rundown of the manual. They, they don't regen forever, but the coins regen like twice <laughs> on that part. It says there are also plenty of items that you can retrieve while you're on your way. Play it like you would play Sonic. I've never played Sonic. Neither of us have ever played neither, Sonic. Neither of us are, are Sonic. I'm not a huge Genesis person. I do have a Genesis and a Mega Drive and a, and a multi-cart and a bunch of Genesis games, but mostly Nintendo. But yeah, we're, is, we'll figure it out. This is where we need like some serious Sonic players. I mean, sorry, some... <laughs> Zippy players. Some serious zippy players. That feels like a make up level skip or something. Yeah, that. Can I go back? I don't think so. <laughs> don't That's think... definitely not it. A... Oh no! <laughs> oh no, I made it up. Okay, you made it. Good. Okay, this feels new to me. What? It's a little, it's a, it's a little bit of glitchiness, but it's a complicated game. Yeah, I don't know how you. Okay, there are also plenty of items you can retrieve on your way. There are many rings you can collect in every level you need to. By having rings, you are allowed to be hit by an enemy without losing a life. However, once you are hit by an enemy, you will lose all of your rings. And the only way to get some of them back is defeating the enemy who attacked you. You can only regain a maximum oh. of six lost rings. If you are hit by an enemy uh, without having any rings or some sort of defense, uh, you will lose a life. Gain 100 rings and you earn an extra life. However, your ring count will reset to zero. The other items uh, you can get are scattered about each level. They are contained in breakable television sets. Okay, that's what those things are, those things oh, we saw. God. Guilty of eating there. <laughs> Never played a Sega Genesis game. I don't know what eating. I think you meant to say something else. That's kind of funny. How do you get that one? I have no idea how to get that one because after you pass by it, you can't get it. It just disappears. It's just a teasy. Maybe you have to get it like somehow. Oh, you have to hold down a little bit longer. Like jump? Like oh, jump and then jump. Because it's gone. Oh. It's gone. As soon as you pass it, it's gone. Yeah, you're. I'm not messing around. You're better at this than me. I'm gonna go for that. You have to go. Boop. No. Oh Whoa. God. Oh no! It put me down again. Oh, no. No, I don't want to be down there. Damn. How do you just jump? Oh, there. Okay. Jumping's really... Oh, no, I can't get that. Damn. This is... Because it, the game wants you to be fast. Yeah, and if you're not fast... Fall from above to get that one. Fall from above. Oh, that makes sense. You've got to be on Like that thing I was trying to get up? I don't know no, how I you fall from you... above. Yeah, Yep, you stole the five gems. Randomly places you yeah, in a world. Yeah, it kind of gives you four, I think. Yeah, well, I guess that's it kind of like, throws nope. you in whichever one you, you want. So Hill Zone is the most unique of all zones because the surface of the platforms can reside on rather solid, impassable earth. To shoot through a cave tunnel, you need to be balled up and in motion in the entrance fit right. through. If you're not balled up at, at an entrance, use your spin up maneuver and let him go. To get through the loop, uh, you need to have a, a good running start uh, to have enough speed to get around it. And then we got crabs, stingers, you got bare bones. Oh, interesting. Cave zone, star zone. Aqua zone, and then you've got like, um, okay, there's some 10 coin sets, a shield. Shield? Oh, you can get okay. extra life, you can get invincibility. Really? And then the end sign, and this is what the end sign looks like. It's like that. Oh, with the face. Okay, yeah, we yeah, have not seen face. that. <laughs> and then you just jump. You press the button, and it turns into a ball. You have to be. 
And there's a Professor Dodo. We gotta battle at some point, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, you have to be a ball to jump over higher things. Okay, you're doing... Is that a gem? No. <laughs> at least I didn't die. Oh, I do I have to do something here? Oh, okay. I have to keep going. Oh, is that like a big bounce? Oh, you can jump higher when you're a ball spinning. Not that high. Okay, you're, you're getting these controls, man. You're figuring this They're out. It's really weird. Oh, maybe I can make it if I do it a little bit before. No. Let's try it again. No. Forget it. I think I... Ooh, that's a nice looking dude. That's really nice looking That's for a amazing. Target. Get your coins back. Oh, it's cool because if you uh, get... if you get hit, you can get your coins back. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, jump higher if you're moving. Okay. That makes sense. Kind of. But you have to be like. But you have to jump beforehand. There. Guy's back. Jerk. Oh no. Forget it. You can just stay up there. We need to find out what that one is though. This green situation. Green spinning. Oh, it doesn't really say. They're just general things. No, there's because it's a ghost shield one. There's a coins. There's an invincibility oh, set. Wow, okay, yeah, you're better at the... Uh... Oh, bonus! Hey. This is a really advanced game. There's a lot of There's stuff going on, man. It, this is... It's a marvel, but at the same time, it terrifies me to no end. <laughs> it does. It is not a simple control game, which I always thought of the other game like that. Oh, I've almost broken through. Oh, no, right now. Got a couple. Got 29. I guess that's the end of that. Nothing to jump onto. Yep. Oh, I feel like we've been down this road before. End sign, the first oh. sign you managed to get through. I think that's an accomplishment. Oh, hell yeah, man. I couldn't have done that. You saw me. It's like I made it like two seconds and then I would die. <laughs> so now I can... This is one of them? One out of 16. Wow. That's a huge game. It's a massive game. Star Zone. Made. Like that, that title that comes down and the graphics for um, Sonic or Zippy, I mean. <laughs> for Zippy? Oh, I could have jump, jumped up there. I'm not enamored with the way things work. I with know. With jumping. You have to go in a ball. But I'm doing better. Luckily, there's no time limit. So those are this bonuses. Would be a different situation. Yeah. Okay, so that's the bonus. Star Zone 2. Thanks, Arena. Thank you for keeping track. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, oh, you can break through. Whoa! That's oh, your invincibility. shield. I oh, how I'm going to get that dude. Uh, kind of worked. Oh. Uh. Then he disappeared. Yeah. Jumping so... Oh, no! Oh, now I have zero, and I'm gonna die if I get hit. We just got three lives. How do you jump once you're spinning? Okay, press down. The button is not to jump when you're spinning. Let me just try it down here. Or something. Nope. It's not jump. Maybe it's up. No, it's, it's these are the situ up? this is the issues I was encountering too where you just Ah, up and jump. Jump does nothing. Up and jump does it. See, now I know. Okay, okay good, that. good, good. Thanks, I suppose to. You came in here and set us up, let us know. Oh, you have to do it in an angle too. Okay, mm. so yeah, the spring is a bonus stage. Oh uh, okay. then every level is a secret bonus stage, it's up to you to find it. You okay. find a springboard in the upper portion of the level, jump on it, and you will transport you to the bonus stage. 
Okay, I'm getting the controls now. A little bit better. Okay, good. This is the upper level. Whoa, okay, that's cool. So all of this is bonus. No, now that's bonus. Now it's bonus? Yeah, because if you do it on the upper level, it's bonus. And this oh. is where you get to do this one. Oh. Whoa. Of course I need to cut through. It's so hard to... Oh, I got two there. That was good. Yeah, it's one. hard, you're gonna wanna try to get the things, but at the same time. Not fall through. Yeah, it's tricky. That's like a game in itself, just that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> this is a complex. So, what happens here? Do I just run and jump, I guess? Yeah, let's see what happens. Yep. Yeah, I guess you yep. fall down to the lower level. But sometimes you fall and it's bad. Sometimes you fall and it's. Oh, oh I'm invincible so, again. Yeah, hold on here. I am invincible! Bonus! Wow, you're doing so much better than I would do, man. Holy cow. Oh, I do like platformers. I like the platformers. Not necessarily this. Like the original. But... And, you still got, and you still got three lives? Okay. And, yeah. Wow. And 59 coins. Okay. Rings. Cause... I don't know what rings. they call them in there. I don't think they call them rings, though. Oh, now it's... I have to fight him? At the end? Or right now? I'm in trouble! We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Nope. Right now? Not yet. Okay. Bam. Bonus. Upper level? No, because the bonus is going to be if you do one up here. Smash it from this side. Nope. Whoa. What is going on? Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a ball. Okay, you you are uh, <laughs> far more competent than I would be. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. You were saying? <laughs> oh, what? Now what? I can't. I cannot make it up that high. Okay. Oh, that might be R.I.P. Yep. Because I think I had to fall. Yeah. Oh, that's rough. It's even like that. When you don't move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh. It's an IP nightmare. It's, <laughs> it's, IP. it's pretty cool. Oh, off I go. Oh, well, I you guess might, I you might have been. Oh. You could have tried, but. Yep. Do I have to start all over? Um, yeah, I did have to start all over. That's okay. Gives me another chance to do bonus levels. Oh, see, they come back kind of. Oh, not that direction. That direction. Well, I think I did this. Did I make it? He said just walk oh. and jump while walking. Just walk. Jump. In that part I was yeah, having trouble Yeah, in that part. This part right here. Whee! Oh, that's rough. So that's oh. what happened last time. I was pushing to the right, but just kind of not. Now. Ah. So that's what you do, you just walk under it. Okay, now I'm gonna go all the way to the right. Nope. I'm gonna have to go. Oh, oh. I have to. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be short. Short and sweet. sweet. And I will read the controversy that actually happened. And it's not the one you think it is. Okay. 
Um, so, the origins of this game uh, date back to uh, September 29th, 2010, when Tokumaru yeah. posted in the Atari Age forums. Hey everyone, I guess most of you don't know this, but I'm a huge Sonic the Hedgehog fan. I'm talking about classic games here. I don't care for anything since Adventure. And every time I learn to code for a new platform, I start oh. considering the possibility of coding a Sonic game for it. I have an NES engine in the works, but not playable yet. With the 2600, I quickly gave up on the idea, given how difficult it would be to scroll the screen. And the fact that uh, a screen-by-screen -screen Sonic game probably wouldn't be much fun. No, it would be totally pointless. But the other day, I was starting to think about the possibility of making a platformer with eight-way scrolling, and suddenly the idea didn't seem so technically impossible. I know there are a couple of eight-way scrolling games for 2600, but they don't seem to use the technique I thought of. Blah, 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 he talks a lot about creating it. And then he posted a, a bunch of sprites um, that he made for the Sonic, for his Sonic idea for the 2600 game. Um... So he, for the oh, heck of okay. it, I went ahead and made a few sprites. And he posted an image. Here are a few animations based on the sprites above. Forgive me if I made any mistakes uh, uh, regarding resolution or color count. It's just that I use MS Paint. Um, blah, blah, blah. So you did a bunch of graphics for Sonic. And then um, the author of this game, Sprybug, uh, three years later said, here it is, everyone. I know that they're... Like, he, he was talking in other things, but anyway, this is when he posted his first version of this. Here it is, everyone. I know there's still a few bugs to resolve, but it's playable. This is Hill Zone 1. Now just 15 more levels to make. <laughs> and the overhead map selection, boss battles, and a few other things. I hope I have enough ROM to pull it off. And then the, and then the controls. Uh, and uh, how to play the game. So he posted the early version of this game in the Atari Age forums three years later. Um, and then there was a bit of discussion regarding the graphics on this game. Yeah. And the graphics that um, Tokumaru posted three years prior. Oh. And then um, this was after it was released, I think, on cartridge. Really? There was some discussion about oh. like, about the graphics oh. on this. And Sprybug, Sprybug posted in um, reply to all these things. Oh, it's an underwater level. That's why it moves slowly. Uh, oh, I thanks. To say, that is a bit sluggish, right? Oh, you're going to have to do a roll to the other I side. I don't even know how to do that. Okay. Don't do it yet. Okay, to jump, you have to press up and to the right and the jump button. Oh, oh well, rolling fast. Um, anyway, Spritebug says, Hey guys, Albert let me know about this discussion. I forgot who it was, but someone let me know about the controversy at PRGE. That was last year. I went to see if I could find what was being discussed originally, but couldn't find it. Thanks to Albert, he clued me in. So anyway, let me get something straight. When I finished start, when I first started the project, I was aware of Tokumaru's sprite work, and I liked the look of it, oh. and planned to use them as reference. However, I noticed that there were some pixel liberties that were done that weren't weren't going to quite work as the typical Atari, Atari sprite limitations. So I used his sprites as a reference and a model. Yes, the hair did stay the same. However, I made changes everywhere else so that they could both work vertically and horizontally oh. within the sprite and hardware, hardware specs. Which means I had to change them up. As I was making them, I took artistic liberties with them. And an example, I wanted his nose to show and I wanted the left eye to be fuller. And the body and limbs to be a bit more rubber hose character. Uh, you can see in all the official artwork. As you can tell, I didn't have to change much at all when it oh. came to him being hit by something. Some, because in the forums, people posted the original artwork right next to this artwork. Yeah? And it is, it's damning. It's well, damning. Well, you know, I mean, if it's, I guess, I guess it's an IP problem, but it's actually not. <laughs> it's the IP, IP within an IP. This is a, me this is like an inception <laughs> of like. Yeah. It's crazy game. Yeah. Um, so he fessed up to it. He says, oh, yes, I did model my artwork off of his. It's not even model. It was like 
he changed some little thing, but some some sprites he didn't change anything. Like not even a pixel. Um, as you as you can see, I changed up all the other sprites as well for the same reasons I stated before. So he changed some of the some of the sprites. However, with all this being said, yes, Tokumaru, I did use your sprite set as a reference and model, but not verbatim. It give me a, give me a good place to start making these sprites. Uh, I always use references when doing art. In fact, it's a good idea to use references. When I did Princess Rescue, I, started, <laughs> I studied sprite sheets of various Super Mario Brothers games and figured out what I needed to make them work in the Atari, which meant I had to do quite a bit of altering and some artistic oh, liberties no. to make them work. So hopefully this cleared some things up, and I want to thank Tokumaru for doing these sprites, and that gave me a good place to start from. Looking back, I probably should have let you know I was going to use them for reference. And should have given you special thanks in the credit in the manual. Oh yeah, definitely that. Yeah. By the time I did the manual, which is always the two last, I couldn't remember whose sprites I used. How could <laughs> the one guy that does it? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. So there's the crazy controversy. That's not even the one you think it was. So you think it was like Sega is coming after him, which I don't know how litigious Sega is. Oh. Because I know they they handed out like candy, their or their IP to people who pay. Because there's lots of Genesis little game consoles. Yeah. They're terrible, most of them. It's terrible. Like nobody's happy with the graphics and sound output on them. Oh. They're getting better. Well, but better, I made it through one platform <laughs> <laughs> that I couldn't get past. So it's, yes. Hopefully, it's a different. Um, oh, it'll be level that he's gonna put me on. It took me like, I did like, I died like four times in the time it took me to read like one story. <laughs> so I made it to Star Zone 3, 24 And if you notice, oh, Arena Foot didn't even bother to write mine down. Be oh. Not because of Arena's fault, but because I never made it past the first level of oh. any of them. So there's so nothing it's not, to write. There's nothing to write. It's, it's like... Oh, that's sad. That's okay. We're all at different levels. That's right, some games I'm really bad at, <laughs> and some games you're really bad at, and some games I'm good, some games you're good. Some games were neck and neck. That's right. Monkey King. That's right, Monkey King. Okay, I just jump off this today. Let's see if I can make it to the first. Slow down, how do you keep the momentum? I think you pressed to the right. This is hard, man. This is man. this is one that I died on many times. It's a hard jump. Arena Foot said, I was reading the thread for this game. It's a fun read. <laughs> There's a lot more uh, details in the thread, obviously. On, like, about, this, on this issue, yeah. yeah. On the copying the sprites issue yeah you but know. can you even claim this is that the... you own them to begin with well, like yeah, i mean it's... he did work on them but he can't take them to court he'd be like oh, look, those aren't yours this is erlen slash james that is a bridge that grows to the right just move right after dropping to that platform oh okay oops if i can even it's jump the next one i guess we're not going to get to play that one again because it's random. Thanks, I suppose that you did put post that already. And it's, it's just, so just move right. So screwed it up. Yeah. Yeah, if anybody wants an interesting read, just go through the threads of all of Zippy. Or the last thread of uh, Zippy the Porcupine. Oh, this is one I did before. Oh, I don't really want to do this one again. <laughs> Zippy the Porcupine. <laughs> this is amazing. I did the Star Zone. I don't want to do the Star Zone. Can you choose? Or just random? Now it's random. It appears to be in the public, put you in the star zone. I want, to, I want either first, second, or fourth. Because I did the third one yeah, to almost did. to the end. Okay, oh, yeah, we're going to be Aqua. fourth one. Oh, slow one. Okay. <laughs> this music with that high ping was a mistake. I was helping with most with the most sour notes. And it was just so nice. You left it in. You can choose. Get a good like fast and keep like that's fast, but it doesn't seem to hold it. Like it slows down almost immediately. Well, this is a, a water level, so it's like that's the issue with with this one. It's like a, just a different pace for sure. 
It's really cool they, they were able to get that slowness. That slow. I mean, this is insane. Oh, it's an amazing like, accomplishment. To be able to pull this together, man. that go through walls and respawn. Love it! Love it! Oh my god. It's just, it's just hard. For me, too. <laughs> I shouldn't jumping. say too, for me especially. <laughs> it's um, hard. It's the jumping. I really don't like the jumping mechanics, like how the way you, you have to do it is nightmarish. You, you know, just have to get used to maybe, it, I know. Maybe there is... Um, uh, some, <laughs> some, some, some challenging controls in this game. Because, I mean, if we're both struggling in these similar points, like, yeah. it took me a while to get this one. Because so, I understand it, yeah, there's different spins and different ways to jump. But, it's just... Oh, it's tough, uh, I have to say, it's tough in a, in like... Just easy walk, then jump. Yeah, easy to say. But when you jump, it turns into a ball and slows the bloody guy down because you walk and you jump and he turns into a ball okay oh thanks dude okay so oh thank god it's a it's a diagonal jump. yeah you need that extra little bit it's that's crazy about the like yeah because that's what the uh original game does it's very cool very nice addition whoa what nice yeah that's wonderful I think that's his bug, man, because... Because you're supposed to go there, right? Yeah. Am I gonna or are you going to... Trouble gonna... here? Yeah. Back up. <sighs> uh... Whoa! Oh! Oh, you're back! Yay! I think you're supposed to be able to do that. Is this a backtracking one? Oh, it is a backtracking one. What one is that? Let's find out. Wasn't uh, invincibility. Maybe some coins? No. Uh, no Extra it's... life. You got four lives. Three. <laughs> now. No, no, oh, no, no. I fell down. Yeah, oh, you got an extra life. Nice. That's great. Yeah, the controls are challenging. Let's say. Oh my coins. Ah. Oh. it. Actually, I wasn't even supposed to touch them because... Get some coins now. That's, that's yeah. good. It's funny because one coin is, is as good as a million coins. Oh, yeah. If you have zero coins, you die. If you have one coin to a million, you go down to zero when you get hit. Yeah. So, unless you are going by that is your score. Yeah. Which, which it is. I think that... Ooh. Oh, the see, jumping! See, this is, this is the... The zippy challenge for is sure. jumping. I yeah. Like sometimes you get away with it. Sometimes you do. It's other times. I mean, like, I, like I understand that once you get used to it and once you understand the jumping, you're probably fine. But it's just so frustrating. <laughs> so frustrating. Just see that was too big of a jump. Oh, 100 coins is equals free man. So there is a point to the coins. Yeah, yeah. This game is is challenging. Yeah. Um, I think we're done after this one. Okay. Cool. It's just too hard. The the controls. The controls. It's hard because it's like I, I saw you. You're like you hit it and it's like no. Nope. Okay. I have completed really hard platformer games on the 2600 um and this is it's all about the controls that are just messing me up like panky the panda is hard as hell but the controls are tight they're so precisionly tight oh. there's like slippery t oh, oh you almost could have gone back can you ban me please I could try. I don't understand that suggestion, <laughs> uh, Jetpack Jack. Why would Ooh, you? Why wing. would? Why would you want to get banned? I don't know. 
I guess it's it's he cuts to the chase rather than you know shit post and, and all this stuff and type garbage and piss us off. He's just like, no, just just ban me right off the bat. <laughs> I just don't. I don't want to be. Banned. It doesn't waste the want to waste the time and the effort. And it is a lot of energy, oh. right? To to come up with witty things to enrage people. That's right. In chats. So I kind of you know I, I admire res- that. I respect and admire. That <laughs> this one. Um. Sure. Let's see if I can do that. Or should I add you as a friend? You know what? <laughs> I should add him as a friend. <laughs> you should add him as a friend, man. It's one of those. Oh. I'm gonna add you as a friend. There we go. It's one of those things. So I did the opposite of ban you. Dude, you did it! Hey, the things are going off the screen. There we go. Now I can try it. Now what is going on? How come I can't? Oh, it's a mod user. Now that would be the opposite of ban. Oh, Make I can replay. I can replay. How do I unban you though? When I do ban you, because I would want you to come. I want you to come back in though. Mm. There's a timeout and a ban, etc. Oh, maybe I can do a timeout, but there's only ban. Oh, timeout. How about I time you out? So that's like 10 minutes. There you go. Thanks, Arena. Yeah, Star Zone 2. Oh. Oh, well, you missed the little spinny thing, but that's okay. You didn't die. Oh, get that spinny thing. There you go. Bam. There you go. Now you're invincible. <laughs> <laughs> that would be Mario. <laughs> oh, good job. Oh my god, okay. Kicking ass now. There you go. Boing, boing. Oh. Didn't make it all the way. I'm a mod on the other stream I watch. Just two I watch. Well, luckily we haven't had to have mods yet. People are really nice. Yeah, we've had and a respectful. I think, Nobody's been I think this has ever. been oh my god, it's been one of the nicest streams ever. There's not even like I've not had. There's not been a single moment of of like terribleness. <laughs> yeah, which is like for the internet, that is insane. <laughs> Quite an accomplishment. There I think go. it's it's a testament to this community though. Honestly, yeah. it has a lot to do with um, people being very sweet and super into this stuff. I mean, oh, oh that's so well. That's rough. Yeah, the people who are here want to be here. Oh. And I think it's a small enough stream that it's not attracting a ton of people. Like just randomly coming in. We are a class. I you are a way a classier group. group, man. Um. So came over, eh? That's right, Arena. The uh, oh. there's lots of stuff here. Right? There's a lot of stuff. I didn't read it all because it was kind of just blah, blah, blah. a lot of stuff that was not. We didn't even get to it. Yeah. <laughs> when you lose all your lives, your game will end, and you will see the screen screen along with the sad tomb. But don't let it dampen your spirits. You can continue your quest. If you have at least one gem on you, no, we didn't make it to the we gem. We didn't even jam it up <laughs> once. You can exchange it for a continue, one continue. But that does that mean you have to go get that gem again because you've given I it back? Feel, I feel like that's probably. But what the is case. the point of continuing? I guess if you have four gems, you can possible. go down to three gems and get your fourth, and then go to fifth. Yeah. Really, really um, huge accomplishment with this game. The graphics are really good. Oh my god. There's a lot of mechanics going on. Um, Colors are great. Yep. The design That's is insane. Um, Music is really good. Yep, everything's really good it's except just, for the controls. It's just really hard to play. I maybe the controls are the same in the original. I don't know. I've never played it. I don't even think yeah, I, that. I think this is also part of the issue. Is, is like if you had people who were who were game. like uh, you know Sonic fans yeah then i think this might be a different situation like we might be able to totally crush this game but it's just not my uh yeah we might be it's able not to. my skill set but that's okay there's nothing wrong with that at all um nope. i don't have a, sonic this was an interesting stream man <laughs> yeah big variety yeah um so that is let's switch back over yeah 
so that was what did, what did everybody else think of that game um the translation i mean some of you have not played it but like the people who have played it either on the emulator or on a cartridge how did you find the controls yeah were they totally fine for you it might just be also might like be part of the skill thing i mean that's the other thing too is that we're so spoiled with games these days <laughs> where you can just like go yeah. things so quickly and easily right exactly um and there's such a variety and we can just go yeah this one's not good or this one's good yeah, so both Alien games were pretty fun. First one, way better than the other one I found. Just Yeah. The other one was very convoluted. Yeah, the first one's classic. Like, you know what you're yeah. doing. You're like, I'm shooting lasers at, like, aliens that are moving on the screen, trying to dodge bullets. Like, it's like, yeah. I, it's straightforward. You, you don't, don't even need, need to, to tell me what to do. No manual needed. Yeah. Yeah. Second one's like a flickery craziness. Like what is there's things all over. But the very place. inventive and interesting. Yes. It would, but it was just a little bit overwhelming. And the other thing I find with games is like there needs to feel like there's a progression. It's weird when you're stationary yes. and everyone else is moving. There is this sense of like, um, unless it's like a 3D game or something. Yeah. Then there's movement. But, but that's it's a static screen. Yeah. So it just felt like I'm like okay, they're just gonna come at me, and I just. And it was relentless. Like yeah. the, the first one had two different waves, two different types. Yeah. It would be nice if that one went to something else. And because I couldn't really move either, it was like slightly tricky because you're like, you're trying to aim and shoot in different directions. And then like, yeah. it felt a bit random, which is not a bad thing. Yeah. And uh, the third game, Monkey King, obviously we played that before. Really yeah. good refinements. I think it's, it's, it's there. Like... It's oh my a, god, it's so good. A the couple, only a couple the, bugs. The but. fact that I'm like, um, oh, just change the color of the thing. That's like that's minor. So minor because the and reality the sound bug. That's minor. Playing too. the computer is amazing. Like getting yeah. your AI going at all is, is in insane. Also, it's fun because you could play it on your own. You could completely like that's a game I could just hang out and just play. And also playing yeah. with James, also feeling like getting to like you know turn him invisible. <laughs> yeah. oh it's a very god. satisfying thing. And then like you know. But it's a tricky game because all of a sudden you think you're doing well and then bam, 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 bam. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. You're cut down. Um, so, um, Since Sprybug's next game is completely original. Oh, I'll have to check that out. I don't think I know what his next game is. That would be amazing. Because he's obviously super talented programmer. Unreal. Like both Princess Rescue and this. I we, I finished Princess Rescue. And I like the cheekiness of it too. It's yeah. I don't think Sprybug's making a lot, like, like a <laughs> killing. He's not no. breaking in millions of dollars from these things she's putting in like hours and hours of work the very least and and you know changing the and it also we're getting expi inspired this is yeah. the whole point of this thing is like you're meant to feel like uh you're playing retro games there's nothing yep. wrong with yeah and getting a game that never came out on the atari and never would have came out, yeah. come out on the atari and being able to take this massive game and compress it down into something that's played be, made 41 years ago it's amazing and I suppose to says Zippy's controls, you do need to learn them. So it is a, a learning curve. They're not necessarily bad. They're just, you have to get used to them, I guess. Yeah, it's tri It's a tricky thing. And it's tricky, honestly, when you're doing a platformer and it's hard to jump. Yeah, oh my God. Um, but it's also... That's the number one thing you have to... Yeah, but the issue is, is there's so much on the go, right? You've got yeah. the spinning ball. We've got the hitting the thing. That's why I think there's it's a... two modes of moving. Yeah, so. and it's and it's clunky. So the issue is, is that that's why I think that game is just so challenging to translate, but also yeah. insane that you managed to do it. Yeah, um, and Wade Rain says uh, he's a pretty big Sonic fan, and this game is very well done. But the controls are tough. They almost had a random feel. That's what I felt. I never felt fully in control. Yeah, they, you feel like, like there's I times you jump. jump and you're like, oh, boo. and it's also tough because there's nothing you can do. Like sometimes you you hit a button and you're like, ah. Yeah. There we go. Like it's nice if you can kind of guide it a little bit, like you yeah. know, and be like, "Oh, I missed my jump. I can pull back." But there's just this feeling of like it's almost like you have to hit the exact. It's yes. almost like playing music. It's like beep, either beep, get it or beep. you don't. It's not on time. You're right. off. Everybody hears it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ground Trooper said, "Nice translation. I'll probably never buy it. Yeah, I will have to put in some time on my harmony to try it first. So yeah, maybe try it on the harmony because there is releases." And then if you get the controls and you feel comfortable, then maybe buy it. Yeah, and I'm... I'm and and it's a beautiful box. And right? once again, it's one of those games where the benefit of buying a game like this would be is that there's we touched the surface of this thing. Oh, truly. we barely even got into it. And we didn't see all the levels, all the different 
different bonus areas and too. so much to master and i'm yep. sure that like you know getting we didn't even get close to getting 100 coins we didn't even get close <laughs> we didn't to even like get one gem there'd be like moments where you just couldn't even like we didn't even fight the boss yeah so yeah we can't make a full judgment of it on it obviously only the controls actually like everything we saw i can't imagine what the boss one of the things I, awesome. I like about these these games that we kind of play is it's interesting like you couldn't program as much stuff yeah. so the challenge level is higher so you have more replayability yeah. it's yeah. kind of like you know and that's and it's an interesting model because it's like we only have maybe 16 levels yeah. but um every level's hard so that you have something to strive yes. for i would rather have 16 tough levels than yes. like a thousand easy yeah. things and yeah that's like what, modern games are that's a problem with some modern games it's hell like yeah you never die you breeze through everything the save points are like two seconds ago so you yeah. never feel like you're ever challenged. You're, you're just like, the company is like, we're going to make sure you play the whole game, no matter what. Um, uh, Pac-Man, next show suggestion, the updated Pac-Man 8K with the improved turns. Yes, we are doing a Pac-Man game, an all-Pac-Man show, because there's like five different Pac-Mans. That makes a lot of sense. That's so a classic game. So now we can contrast and compare all the different Pac-Mans, and they're all on very different levels of complexity. Um, so yeah, I actually did play the uh, the Pac-Man uh, 8K improved turns um, on my computer, not on the stream. It's interesting. It looks weird, but it's much better for the turns, like better controls. So that is coming up. I just have to find a slot because there's a lot of good cool things coming up actually yeah <laughs> that i don't want to bump so that when they come like the first the next show is a special show it's i i don't know when i'm going to announce the name of it exclusive man. it is an exclusive a champ games exclusive is Ooh. the next episode um but that's not till i come back so when it's it? on a wednesday so you're gonna be here so i'll probably announce it uh, when I get back, I'm looking the forward to Monday that. Monday night. Thank you. I feel lucky. And it's, um, I think it's a game that people will really, uh, really like. He hasn't even put it out. He hasn't. I don't think he's talked about it. I so it's think. a true exclusive. I think. I don't want to say that completely because yeah. I'm. I may be not correct there. But anyway, this this build is ex is is a brand new, very updated from from the old one. Um, and also we're going to be playing Seaweed Assault, which is part of the wow. homebrew tournament. So we're going to go for high scores again. If Arena doesn't know what it is, it's, it's yeah, exclusive. Okay. It is, because Arena Foot knows everything that's ever been posted on any of the forums or the Facebook groups. He knows it all. Another champ, I know, he slept for seven years and he recharged. Like, I was listing out his games he did, like, in 2007, 2008... And then he went to sleep for seven years. And then he came and he back. Woke up and he went, I am back. And he did like, and he did Mappy and Wizard of War and this one. Some serious titles. And he's let me in on like three more games. <laughs> the titles of three more games. And I'm just drooling over another one of them. I'm like, oh my God, that one's so good. <laughs> I can't believe it. Um... No, he didn't make seven games in seven years. He made zero games in seven years. He made two in the beginning. He did um, Super Cobra and Scramble. Super Cobra and Scramble in 2007, 2008. Then he stopped making all games for seven years. And then he made Mappy last year, which is releasing this year. Wizard of War is like 99% done now. And now he's moving on to other games as well. And I think this might be his next game that we're doing the exclusive on. Yeah. Don't know. But anyway, I'm just saying nothing for a lot of time. <laughs> because I can't tell you anything yet. Um, but he did give me permission to do to show it off on the, the next show. But he didn't want me to announce the name until after Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Because he has two games showing there. Yeah, And he yeah. didn't want too much... Attention it makes complete to. sense. You don't yeah. want to compete against yourself. Yeah, and he sense. almost is <laughs> at this point. He's he's cranked them out, but he is master programmer. Like you, you saw Mappy. Oh, and, that's insane. And Wizard of War. Mappy is like beyond crazy. Yeah. Um, and then we have just after that the Friday 
is the Halloween show. Ooh. And it's on Halloween. Is and that we, Darcy's going to be there? Or is that yeah. Tanya? Uh, it's going to be Tanya. Cool. I mean, are you, if you are available, you oh, can yeah, come I'm not on doing in. anything. I'll come to the Halloween Perfect. show. Yeah, it's 6 p.m. Oh, no. What is it? 20. Let me just clarify Let's check. these dates here. Uh, no, it is a Wednesday. Sorry, oh, it's I'll, the week after. I missed I'll, one in there. I will for sure be there for yes. the Halloween show. Perfect. No doubt. Yeah, okay. So that I missed one on the list because that's the Friday. Um, but that's Tanya, so I haven't planned that one. Oh, that's good. I looked at that. That's good. Yeah. Oh, um, that's I, that'll be a good Halloween. What's your Halloween party? It's, you know? it's all... Yeah, I'm, I'm playing video games. <laughs> well, actually, the Halloween party is on the saturday if you were able to come oh yeah and that's the john carpenter that's right we're that's nothing to do with this we're watching a bunch of movies watching it's a bunch of great. movies on on the saturday halloween it's a halloween party combo with movies scary movies That'd be all awesome. carpenter movies oh yeah. yeah um but then the actual halloween day is going to be this show on the wednesday so maybe you're yeah 2016 2017 yeah it was about right what 2016 2017 and what did he do Oh, no, he did... Oh, he's done so many then. He did Scramble, Super Cobra, Mappy, Wizard of War, all in two years. Brown Trooper was not lying when he says, does John ever sleep? No, that's true. No, it was Mars... Mars... Oh, what is it called? Something Mars. Mars, Mars, Mars. Arena Foot can fill me in. It was a really cool, very hard game we played a long time ago. A Ladybug. So it was Ladybugs and Ma Conquests of Mars. That he there we go, perfect timing. Um, Ladybug and Conquest of Mars. That those were the two games he did in yeah. two thousand six, seven, eight. I think around there. And see you later, Wade Rain. Thanks for hanging Bye, out. Bye, Wade tonight. Rain. We're almost wrapped up anyway. Um, so yeah, we're gonna play a bunch of Halloween scary games. Yeah, some good. homebrew, some hacks because there aren't many homebrew. And uh, yeah, then it just keeps oh, going. Atari on. just came by to say goodbye. Oh, come on up here. Say goodbye. Come on. I'll have to pick you up. I know. You don't want to come up here. But you have to say hi to all the folks out there. Oh, I know. There we go. Um, and then uh, Dan Kitchen's games at some point. Wow. Don't know yet. They're getting there. Some point. Caverns, yes. In volume one of Arena Foot's book. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's it. The next time you'll see me is probably on Saturday. Because I'll be broadcasting from Portland Retro Gaming Expo. If everything goes well, I'm actually going to do a, a test stream right after this. Um, to see if I can um, stream on like my phone. So I'm going to go get my phone. And I'm going to see if I can do a stream. So like a quick garbage one. Just to yeah, make just sure. to see if it's possible. Yeah, just see if it's possible. And so it won't be anything. It'll just be my room pointing at us or something. Perfect. Um, so, yeah. And then I'll come back with lots of interviews and videos and to content. show all of you guys. Yeah, lots of content. And, um, and if stories. anyone else is going there, have fun at Portland Retro Gaming. Yeah, if anybody else is there and you see me, just say hi. And, and, and uh, then tell uh, James that you say hello to me. That's you right. Too. Like anyone, say hello, Darylin. <laughs> yeah, if anyone says hi, I'll say hi back. I'll say yep. it through James. I'm not going to be there, but I'll be there in spirit. That's right. And so will the cats. That's but right. Tanya will be there in uh, body and spirit. That's right. Both. Come back with an empty wallet. Oh, my God. Uh, yes, I will. <laughs> a lot of games. That's and gonna be, be adding them to the roster. Coming back with content for Zero Page Homebrew. That's right. So uh, thanks for tuning in once again. And we'll be back streaming in this room on Wednesday. But streaming at Portland Retro Gaming Expo on Saturday. So watch your computers. Watch your alerts on your phones. Because I don't know what time it is. It'll be a surprise stream. Um, so thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. Oh, actually, I want to say bye to all the people in the chat. Arena Foot, Ground Trooper, Ice Bosta, Wade Rain. Uh, Atari. Jetpack Jack that wanted to be banned. Uh, Got deleted. Sorry, Jetpack. Dan AVC, Gretums, Mr. Fix. Uh, there was... Was there Atari something? Atari, what was his name? Miz, Mizzy G0525 yeah. was a new person. Thank you for Thanks tuning for in. in. Uh, and it off it goes. But I think there was like um, yeah, there's always a re At Atari, Atari spot. Atari spot. Atari spot. Right. That's what it was. So, uh, well, thank you. 
Um, I'm glad you all enjoyed it. We try and make it entertaining. <laughs> and so we'll see you on Saturday or Wednesday. Bye bye. And then I have to find the stop button over here. There we are. Okay, bye bye.